Welcome to Flat Earth Debate Uncut and After Show. I'm your host Nathan Oakley and if you are new to this channel or you've not done so already then be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon and join button to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. If you'd like to support the channel there is a super chat that runs alongside each of these shows while they premiere and there's also a PayPal, Patreon and crypto link in the info box below the video. Speaking of Patreon I'm going to do a quick shout out to all of you who do support me on Patreon so a massive shout out of thanks and appreciation to Joseph Pizarro, Samson, Maris, Harry Blade, Mobile Max 777, Neo the One, Lost Cat FE, Rob W, Open Minded, Reese Pound, Dale West Watson, Mike, Muted, Dick Earth Skeptic, Chris Hillman, NA Literalist, Maria Neelands, Unbelievable Productions, Blue Ridge Ranger, Rob H, Burn Fact on My Stomach is as Flat as the Earth, Nathan Thompson, The Real Gabster, Windrider, Missouri Bear, Henry 86, Liam Nedrick, Erwin Jennisons, Abraham Mohammed, Dave Rakia Gafford, Nibai, Adrian Quintana, Skeptic936, Life is Short, Fireball X, Felix Hung, TheFlatEarthChannel.com, Texas Mike, Edwin Johnson, Kirsten Smith, Alexander Main, David Wayne Foster, and Dank. So another massive thank you to all of you for supporting me on Patreon. Now I'll raise the mic on Discord and G+, and you can enjoy their conversation while I set up for today's live show. Whatever Nathan gave him. Yeah, it just seems to want to load for me. It doesn't want me to actually go in. I couldn't even see anything. It was so small. I'm on a phone. Yeah, my iPhone just wanted me to either set up for live streaming or webcam. And when you do set it up and try and go in, it doesn't it just loads. There's nothing wrong with more. Well, if I don't go live when I press the go live button, this will just be a recorded only show broadcast to members and then the general public on Saturday. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Yeah, I went on my uh, iPhone to see if it do the same thing as my iPad was doing and it said I had to enter my Google Hangouts information so i did and when it came to the password it just says oh wrong password it's like what <laughs> change it won't even let me in yeah there's pretty few... whatever you sent last night whatever that's it's, my head is still spinning from that stuff well that's the only thing spinning at least on the server <laughs> oh my god <laughs> if i would have heard imagine one more time oh i know oh gosh there's so many begging the question and so Who are many those that's the the people with the big channels that keep on the fantasy. Wow. That string theory is like that don't make no sense to me. How people can believe that. They have to keep going further and further, right? Ten, eleven dimensions, all this stuff. And then he says uh, that they tested it and proved it. Then they, then he yeah. says the opposite. Then he says the opposite. I'd like to see the, the test for that. Yeah, I was waiting for the test. It was proven when they found the string theory. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's 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 Michio Kaku's whole goal is him and this other guy. I don't know if it was the same guy there on the show. I can't remember. Uh, you know, that's his claim to fame, and he wants to go in history as the string theory guy. That's At least that's my opinion on Michio Kaku. It's funny because right before you sent that, I was on uh, YouTube and I hit something because always stuff comes up for that. Never flat earth stuff, just, you know, all space stuff. So I must have hit a Michio Kaku from maybe four years ago. Mm -hmm. It's explaining this uh, fourth dimension. Imagine you're a fish. Now, the fish thinks that's his whole world, but there's a world above the fish, and there's a fish scientist. And one of the scientists is saying there's another world above him, and they're doubting it. Now you pull the fish out. Now that fish scientist sees a whole new world. That's what it's like. Well, if he's going to do that, then uh, God is looking down on all of us. That's what I was thinking as he's saying. I'm like, yeah, dude, you, you, you're, you're right. You're almost there. Home. You're almost there. <laughs> Anything, it's God. 
these guys are crazy. Well, no, once they, the they were off Hello. tent. Right. What was that? The cold. They're all fire large. They're, they're so far off. Yeah. He's a ball talking. Up. 10 to the 1 to the 120th zero or 10 to the 120th zero. They're off in their yeah. predictions. And then this guy on the video last night said that they tested it at science. <laughs> they tested it with another theory. That's right. Theory the proves the theory. You just, you just make a new equation, then it backs up your old equation. And this right, that's your equation. I forgot about the equation. You're right. That's all it is. Math. Yes, yeah, string theory is just based on equations. That's all they are. Calculations and uh, theories. But what was the, the one thing I was, what was he talking about with the prediction with where Venus would be? I think that was That's, Mercury. Yeah, Mercury, Mercury, right. Where Mercury would be at a certain time and it was the equation and everything was correct. And he had running around his room so excited. No, he, well, he's just, again that's probably begging the question I haven't looked into that claim but again he's using something about Mercury and saying because we're on a sphere our, right well because our calculation explained why Mercury behaves this way then we know our calculation is right well that doesn't mean your calculation is right if it's a math thing you didn't touch it you didn't experiment with it to, to really know why what you're seeing is what you're seeing. You made a calculation about it. So you can just keep changing your calculations till it adds up right, I guess, or the formula works. And then you say, aha, that's the reason. But you did it on a piece of paper with a pencil. With math. I, I have to admit, I don't understand the whole thing. So what no, it's, a, it's, a world, it's a world of math that tries to explain the physical world. And the minute the formula works, they think that's it. Sorry to interrupt you guys. Sorry to interrupt. I'm just going to give um, Arwen a quick call just to see how long he's actually going to go live. Uh, for. I'm in here. Oh, really? He's here. Oh. Yeah, I am. <laughs> oh, okay. So, uh, how long <laughs> are you going to be live for? Just so I, I don't want to overlap with you if you've obviously had a technical issue and there's no point me just starting if I know you're, not, you're live. No, I'm not going live. I'm not going live today. Oh, did you just I do a little announcement? Did you do a little announcement then? Because you did go live, right? Well, I, I just did a little technical test stream to see if it worked. So well, that's very I'm handy. just not doing a show today. I'm be doing it tomorrow. Maybe that's extra long or something. Okay, fair enough. Um, oh, no, it's dedicated well, to Friday uh, debate. No reason to not start early then. Why would I do a 15 minute early bird show? You know, I'd had like two minutes regular talking left <laughs> the <laughs> intro and the outro. So. <laughs> Yeah. Well, had you been, just so you know, I would have been willing to hold off my show for yours to continue hmm. for the full hour, had you have said so. But obviously, if you're not, you're not, and I don't have to do anything different. In fact, I might even start a little bit early. <laughs> All right. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, I appreciate that. But, you know, we're already uh, an hour late compared to uh, the non-Europe. So I don't want to, yeah, make it too late. So no, that's fair enough. Welcome to Flat Earth Debate Live. I'm your host, Nathan Oakley, and if you are new to this channel or you've not done so already, then be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon and join button to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. If you would like to support the channel, there is a super chat that runs alongside each of these shows while they are live. There's also a PayPal, Patreon, and crypto link in the info box below the video. 
Most importantly, if you'd like to join the discussion, simply mute the page you are currently watching, then click the link in the info box below this video to join the panel and express your views on the nature of Earth. If you do join, please don't swear. If you do, you'll be ejected. And if you are, please don't try to rejoin the stream using sock accounts. You'll be warmly welcome back on the next stream. Please also share the show on social media. Sharing the show obviously increases the live audience, but this in turn increases the chances of a more diverse panel. So please share the show on Facebook and Twitter. One last time, if you're new to the channel or you've not done so already, how dare you? Then be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon and join button to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. Now we are joined by Flatsoid, 10th Man, Arwin, uh, no chocolate saying yet, uh, the Adam Meekin, and a whole bunch of people in Discord. So welcome, one and all. Hello, hello, good afternoon. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. Neil is here. everyone. Hello. Hello. Hey, Adam. Started just a little bit early because there was some <laughs> technical difficulties, hence the uh, Flat Earth Early Bird show didn't go out. So Arwen did a quick technical test just to make sure it could actually go live tomorrow. But given we're a, an hour ahead for everyone in the States at the moment... Arwen felt it was a bit pointless to actually go live, so hence we're going a bit early to satisfy the needs of the Arwin viewership, whatever you'd call it. So, on, on a technical note, Nathan, you've got only uh, members only chat on on YouTube. Well, when I had the same problem Arwin had, while I was figuring it out, I thought if I figure this out in a pinch, I'll I'll not want to figure out what's going on in the chat or monitor it. I'll want to be monitoring the technical stuff, right? So I put on members only chat. And then after I figured it out, I thought, you know what? This te this actually goes out on the weekend for the majority of the audience. So once the show finishes live, I turn it off or set it to unlisted for a certain period. So the shares still work if people share the show, obviously. I don't want that to go nowhere. So it goes unlisted. And then eventually, after a few hours, I turn it off and then relist it um, either a day later or not at all if it's the weekend or 12 hours later, whenever. But the point is that the majority of people who watch the Thursday show or the Friday show are going to be watching it actually on Saturday or Sunday anyway. Well, in that case, why bother doubling up on chat streams to watch and keep an eye on? If it's only members only, there's going to be a limited chat that goes through. So, other than moderators, check it out how we can talk. <laughs> that was my question. Could I type even? I weren't sure if a mod was allowed, but... <laughs> certainly <laughs> seems to be the case. <laughs> so, there you go. You can as a moderator. Um should we hang off for a few more minutes? Given that we've got a full Discord server, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't launch into housekeeping, even though we're a bit early. What do you, what do you what say, you panel? Launch. Launch. <laughs> launch. <laughs> yeah, launch. launch. Yeah, go. Although okay. I, I did forget it was actually Thursday. I was I thought it was Friday. My, my time sense is all mixed up. Uh, definitely Thursday or Saturday for the majority of people watching. Anyway. Any evidence of a physical, geometric, sphere edge, horizon formerly known as Earth curvature? Uh, no. No, no, definitely not. Even fight the Flat Earth Craig, you can't decide if it's optical or not. Yeah, only if you use curving lenses do you curve the Earth, but the Earth itself is flat and level at best. It slopes gently toward the sea, but that's it. How is curving lenses going to affect the geometry? <laughs> What's just sloping towards the sea? They make the horizon drop below the crosshair, and they interpret that as land dropping away and curving away yeah. as it curves in the Slope. lens. They reify Slope the horizon. Angles. They turn the horizon into a physical object, and when you try and pin them down on it, they'll tell you that it's non-physical, or you can't see it. Yeah, they're trying to have their cake and eat it too. Do damage control. They're like, ah, oh, they're onto us. Let's make the horizon only optical. Optical but means you can see it. The, the geometric horizon, according to their own rhetoric, is optical. You're supposed to see it. It's a physical obstruction that blocks boats and buildings and is calculated in their maths. As soon as they say you can't see it, yeah. it's, it's non-optical, i.e. you can't see it, well, then they don't have a geometric horizon to base an R value on. I mean... On that subject, any evidence of the R value? Earth radius. Yeah, they really want to uh, make it like the railroad tracks, which appear to ramp up to your vision, make it like there's some sort of physical correlation or whatever to what their eyes are seeing. It's not there. Yeah, I'll stick to it's all yeah. optical measurements. Well, Earth radius proof claims only work when you really start start out with mind experimentation 
of there being a geometrical curve in the first place. So R is problematic. Ah, uh, the old geometric considerations, you mean? Indeed. Yeah, all those datums hey, based on ellipsoids. Yeah, you're going to have to take geometric considerations into effect if you are going to reify a non-physical horizon into a physical geometric sphere edge for boats to go over and be blocked by. That's going to take some geometrical considerations, I assure you, of that. Because we don't have right. a physical edge for a horizon. It's non-physical. But you still need it if you want to assert a radius. You know? Indeed you do. You can't have that and a radius at the same you can't have your radius and not a geometrical horizon at the same time with a sphere that is so difficult arwen therein therein lies the problem arwen because they committed to the math 3959 and it's supposed to be in the black swan picture the lmsp 69s at one foot observer height 1.22 miles it's not there so that means r is not real so then they make up all the other stuff to cover the fact that R is not real, which means the sphere is not real. Yeah, they only want an edge when it suits them. Exactly. Any evidence it of that? reduces a down. Go on, whoever that was. Sorry. Oh, no, it just reduces down to, you know, there has to be something in the way blocking, like uh, earth curvature blocking uh, what's in the way instead of, like, angular resolution. They really need to study optics. Sorry about that. Yeah, their maths doesn't have optics. It has geometry. You definitely need tangent points and an hour value to assert it back to those geometric considerations, right? Yeah. Any evidence of axial rotation? Ooh, there oh, we go again. I, I, I well, that you need a radius and actual motion. And for the radius, the geometric considerations once again. So it, it really okay. always comes down to the same couple of things, doesn't it? I'm just happy that they can't spew hurricanes anymore. I just showed um, Hurricane Zeta spinning in two different directions at the same time. How does that work? It's not all to do with Coriolis, but I, see, I do get your point. They assert it as, th as though it's part of Coriolis effect. And unless you're flying around in that hurricane, it's got sod all to do with Coriolis effect. But there we go. Ah, but they don't care anyway, you know. They'll show one hurricane as an example of whatever they are thinking, and then if it doesn't work out, they don't show it. Just like with the supposed curve. Like, oh, one time, oh, look, it's so moist in the air. Now we see actually everything more as is. That's why it seems so curved right now, right? And then it's a very dry, clear day, and it's like, oh, yeah, you can see too far. Oh, that's all just weird miraging, and that's the unusual Part, according to them remember all that oh, that's what they do every single time on every on every front good point Arvin. it's the inside out world any scientific evidence of gravity <sighs> i don't think we're ever going to get scientific evidence for it because it can't exist it's just a concept well you could figure out the scientific uh, evidence the cause of like things like displacement and all that is it's like everything that is attributed to gravity here on earth as a, a physical example for supposed gravity all those things can definitely be scientifically proven as to what causes it right we we know that as relative density as to the other conceptions tied into gravity uh, mainly the heliocentric cosmos balance of forces and in this case bending of space-time even more convoluted yeah that part is all has nothing to do with reality it's all about the fictional world out there in outer space in where in side? that medium that can't exist because it defies natural law beyond makes sense non-real mediums and mathematics any scientific evidence of gravity <laughs> no it's basically a reification fallacy good answer any single viable hypothesis from any of the fields of astronomy cosmology or astrophysics no i don't even think they know what a hypothesis is yeah what are the physics of astro you know 
how do physics of astro works? What is astro? Imagination. He's a dog on the Jetsons. <laughs> <laughs> because astro, the only thing that the word directly correlates to for me is asteroid, you know, astro. So what is it technic what is the technical origin of this word, astro? What does it really point at if it has supposed physics, right? Was Astro, the word I think purely conjured up for the fictional medium, or is it originating from somewhere else? Hold on. Is it, oh. how do you say your name? Is it, I can't see it at this distance. Something thesis. 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 It means consumption. Thesis. It's an um, old word. Uh, yeah. Tithesis is an old word for tuberculosis consumption, I think. I was pissed off because they nuked another one of my accounts, so Tithesis kind of stuck. I see. You're about to get an etymology out, but Arwen cut you off. He asked you the origin of, what was it? Astra? Astro. I the word that. astro, yeah. When I'm looking it up, it it the first thing that came up relating to the heavenly lights and all that. So that was kind of funny. And now I'm looking not, for um, the sorry, I so, uh, you go. You probably know more uh, about this. Well, the Oxford dictionary comes with relating to the stars or celestial objects, yeah. or relating to outer space. Outer space is like. Um, it's interesting that that's got a bit of an oxymoron in the title of the discipline right so if astro astro Maximum. means the heavenly bodies and lights in the sky basically and physics means the physical so it's the physics of the lights isn't it it's the physical of the yeah. lights so they're already it's... implying physicality assumption bias just in the name of the discipline which i quite like yeah Ast indeed. astron um uh, astro is derived from astron and astron being the greek for star so it's star physics i suppose well, most a more clear way to describe it would be celestial physics because that's kind of what it really is yeah the physical nature of the lights in the sky that's what that discipline is basically talking about so where we talk about <laughs> right. physical physicality assumption bias or you do more accurately arwin uh mm -hmm. they are actually putting the lame above the door aren't they right they're just heavily get, with everything they do they suggest it's all physical indeed any evidence of a self-perpetuating molten iron core at the center of a presupposed spherical earth p waves and s waves <laughs> Yeah, I'm afraid that P waves and S waves were said to be able to actually end up somehow proving it, according to a geologist. Unfortunately, the actual testing of that turned out to yield a lot of uh, messy, contradictive results that yeah didn't match the predictions at all. So they think they could prove it if it was actually there, but they haven't been able to actually predict anything with it so far. So, yeah. Well, that, would dead from, end there. well that would come from the logic of the stars, though, the patterns, but that's, that would be astrologic, astrology. Oh, isn't that poured scorn all over? I wonder why. Better to have astro naming, right? Astronomy, point at light in sky, name it, give it a story rather than just documenting right. the logic of the movements. Astrology, the celestial logic. <laughs> yeah, precisely. Wait, you're talking about a molten iron core? What are you talking about now? We were. Thank you for, for your yeah. help there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just kind of trying to keep you on track, Nathan. Yeah, I don't need any help. Yeah, we're, we're, talk we're, we're talking about something so hot that it can't even have any magnetism. So what do you got to say? that a question what do you think what's your, what's your question what do you got to say what do you got to say is not the question I, I asked a question prior to that are you listening uh, you know what I have a technical question about that Curie point well, Armin why are you white knighting <laughs> let him ask his what? question again go ahead 10th 
Is, is he still there? Are you there? So I don't have to repeat it a third time. Repeat what? You don't. You didn't ask me a question. Okay, here we go. I'm asking you one now. The molten core, the heat, how hot it is, will not allow for magnetism. What do you have to say about that? Is the question. Well, if what you say is true, then it can't be magnetic. Welcome to Flat okay, Earth. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, welcome to Flat I'm Earth. I'm not saying what you're saying is true. All right, so that's my response. I'm not saying it. Question. That's your side. Yeah, that's your claim from your side that it's. How, how do you know my side? We just know your rhetoric, uh, which you clearly don't. It's past <laughs> the carry point. That's Whee! correct. Fury point. I, yes. Are you putting me in a box here, Nathan? That's okay. You don't have to have an answer. No one else has. The curry point I, I is the point at which the metal is so hot it loses magnetism that flies in the face of their claim that the molten magnetic core is the like the cause of, you know, Earth's electromagnetism. So it's kind of a hole in their story as well. Yeah, well, if that's true, it does seem like a hole, yeah. Yeah, well, that, the funny radio. thing is, magnet, magnetic fields can go through liquid metal, but it cannot retain the magnetic ability because be, to do that, the molecules, the metals, have to be arranged and set in a, in a solid way. So magnetics can go through it, but it cannot hold it. It cannot actually generate it, repeat it itself. So mm -hmm. that's really the cause of that, right? Where where has all this come from? What from what I said? Where did this come from? It's just part of the housekeeping questions that you were keeping us on track with. Did you forget? Oh, uh, I see. It sounded a bit like a gotcha, but it wasn't really, was it? Well, if it's a gotcha, it's your gotcha because you were the one keeping us on track with this conversation. Thank you so much. Yeah, but it just what I'm saying is it just came out of nowhere, didn't it? That was really strange. came out of nowhere. You were keeping us on track with a specific question about a specific molten iron core, which your side of the globe Earth claim has. Now you're saying it's a gotcha. No, we were talking about the molten iron core, and then you started talking about the stars again, Nathan. I was just trying to keep you on track. Yeah, and then we, we moved past that. Yeah, we moved past that, and we, we got back on track thanks to you. Tenth man didn't. Tenth man tried to have a gotcha for me. A gotcha? Listen to the question again. What's a gotcha? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, like, do, you, on, do you remember Noel's house party? Tenth man gotcha. won't remember Noel's house party. You're not definitely a gotcha important. is a bit like... Trust we'll just me. explain to him. He's How is trolling. it gotcha when I ask for evidence of a, quote, self-perpetuating molten iron core at the centre of a presupposed spherical earth. Everything discussed was encompassed in that question. Did you not listen to the question? Maybe not, Nathan, but then you started talking about the stars again, didn't you? No. We're talking about the molten iron core. Are you done? Yeah. Are you done? Thank you for well, your input. I, really appreciate it. Am I done? I don't know. Are you going to mute me again, Nathan? Any... Oh my gosh. You're oh, unless ridiculous. you're going to make a good point at some point. Yeah, unless you've got something to say, which doesn't seem like you have. Any evidence? Listen, all of... I was doing, I was trying to keep you on track. Shh. You, Tenth Man, continued it on. Quiet down, please. Thank you. Any evidence of a self perpetuating molten iron core at the centre of a presupposed spherical earth? No. Uh, no, because uh, it's past its carry point, uh, even on the bridge. I have a question. It's a technical question that sort of relates just to know. I had cu some curiosity about this Curie point, you know, uh, of uh, of magnetic grip on metal. So is there any kind of uh, variance in the point where it will lose its grip on magnetics based purely on the level of present pressure on the material? Or is it really only about the heat? Like, isn't that, this isn't that the, bullshit. The liquid state due to heat and all that. Who are you asking? Or is, is this... there an influence of pressure as well? Yeah, yeah. But who are you asking? Uh, us. It's a technical question. It's not leading to the actual proof. We don't, we don't know what's beyond <laughs> 12K. How the, we How the hell would we know? Because we're interested. Because we might have a little story to make up, maybe? <laughs> Hold on, let me look, let me look in the textbook and see the pictures, see what they say. Hold on. <sighs> right, well, doing I've that? never been lucky enough to have like graphs of this in front of my face. Uh, okay, I do just... have a metallurgy book, which is very interesting because it yields all kinds of statistical 
abilities of metals and even crossing over metals, mixing them in. But it, uh, there's no part of it that actually shares uh, with you like the magnetic viability at any point. And I was always kind of disappointed about that. But think think about it this way. I mean, entropy. Once I mean, if if something's you can't really have a reversible if it's reversible with metal and stuff. Obviously, that magnetic property is going to move on. So it's not going to be able to bond to anything. Right. Quick shout out to Sacred Knowledge, aka Universe. Is that right? Sacred Noi Edge? My eyesight today is terrible. Anyway, he says, is the chat members only now? Uh, for today and tomorrow, it's going to be just mix things up a little bit. For that $2.99, you could have actually become a member and be chatting now. But there we go. Thanks for the super chat all the same. <laughs> Moving on. Any evidence that you can have gas pressure? Hang on, without... hang on. Oh, more on the call. On wow. Very well, cool. well, before Heavy. you move on, it's it's. I'm going to bring uh, the core's brothers and sisters in, in, into it. So the core, too hot for magnetism. Gravity, not a force. An earth curve that you can never see. Stand Indeed. in line, ballers. Yes, thank you for the summary. And it's not much, is I'm for fear of getting told off for going backwards. Um, it's not much of a science, is it, really, naming things? No, it's not science at all. No. I, I just wonder how you ever even. Sorry. Well, Sorry, you might have to be disciplined to come up with some cool names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll concede that. You know, don't they don't they have some really exciting and elaborate letters and numbers these days? C five seven four two nine three eight four five B is the latest star oh, yeah. to have been discovered, etc etc. There's discipline to the nomenclature, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> Gas pressure without a container? Anybody? Anybody at all? Oh no. Well, the only every time they try to demonstrate something like that, they always use containers to do it. So, <laughs> gas pressure without a container in a container, right? And even if it seems in some way, or it could be considered that they are not using containers, yeah, they're still standing in a container. So, yeah. But the real question is, what's containing the container? It's what allows gas pressure. No, no, but if we're in a big container, what's containing that container? So you That's understand that we question. must be contained then? But you've got questions beyond it. I'm yeah, not saying we too. must be, but that's the interesting question, isn't it? Well, normally it's thrown at us like it's a, a defence when we ask people who believe the sky is a vacuum how we'd have gas pressure. And then they think that a response is to ask us, well, well what's it's, the it's container? Well, it's not in this case. So, so or interrupt me before that. I it's finish the case. end of a sentence. T technically, triggered fundies also do that. But there we go. I'll try again, second time. So when we point out that you couldn't have any gas pressure without a container, they think it's a defence rather than conceding that the sky couldn't possibly be a vacuum to ask us what the container would be. In other words, they've got questions, same as us, at that point. But obviously, without conceding that their fundamentalist religious belief in a sky vacuum is false, fundamentally in defiance of natural law, we wouldn't get that concession, merely a question about what the container is, like you've done. So let me get this straight. They want to... Is that what you're saying, I'm doing contained, But now they want to know what's outside the container? Okay, that's beautiful. I don't to know sound what... like snacking Tupperware, that is. I don't know what the sky is. <laughs> I, I don't know what the sky is. I know what people claim it to be and how that's not the case. But that's it. It's unreasonable to expect me to know what the sky is. Are you is. interested in what it is, though, Nathan? It doesn't sound like you are interested in what it is. Very interested. I'd love to know. I'm interested. It doesn't? I'm very interested Not really. in what the sky no, is. Because you, you've had about four years of the same housekeeping questions. You haven't and... moved on. <laughs> so? And well, then you... answer them, Becky. Maybe answer them. I... I've I've offered like five different speculative versions of exactly what the containment could be and how, with all kinds of options. So that's complete bullshit. Just because the housekeeping question to your addressing show, heliocentrist is the same doesn't mean that we haven't conceived of possibilities. Excuse us. Well, you should talk about them. That's more interesting. Four I years of no one show. answering these questions is a bit boring. Well, feel free. If you think that's interesting, come to the Feel show. free. Feel free. Answer them. I'm going to start listening to the early bird. 
feel free to answer them. Have you got answers Woo-hoo! that you're expecting us to give you? I I have answers, but they're, not, they're probably not answers that you'll accept. So you should just move on from that. So if you've got answers that I wouldn't Back accept... Back in, why don't you move on? If you've got answers that I wouldn't accept, why wouldn't I accept them? Is it because they're not real? Well, I've I've given you answers before, and then I just end up getting muted. Oh, don't cry now. Just give us an answer. Today, today, uh, you Brandon can have Brandon gas Brandon pressure. Excuse answer. me. Hang on, Neil. That's cheap. Sorry. That so, that's cheap. That get... tenth man. Don't cry. Hey. We're not in. We're not in secondary school. Well, you are. School, you're playing victim. High school. You're playing victim. You're saying you're saying you get muted when you give an answer. I have not experienced that at all on the show with you. I've seen you ad hom. I've seen you get muted for other reasons, <laughs> but not for giving an answer. That wasn't me. That wasn't me, though. That was a different vacuum. Meanwhile, okay, well, then, then let's start with a clean state. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, how do you have gas pressure without a container? My point is that people who ask me what the container is, as you have done, typically won't concede that their fundamentalist no, belief in the sky vacuum is incorrect. They'll typically talk you. over me before I finish my sentence, and I'll have to shut them down, mute them because they're rude and they talk through me like you've just done. Annoying pricks with a sky vacuum belief who won't concede it, but are more than happy to ask me, like I've got some education in the sky beyond what the general rhetoric is, which is that it's a vacuum in violation of natural law. You're still yet to acknowledge the word of that. All you've done is ask me what the sky is or what the container is or what the container beyond the container is. You're full of questions, so are we. Meanwhile, sky is not a vacuum, as they tell us. I didn't ask that. You moaned about the questions. The question on the table is how you can have gas pressure without a container, given there's a fundy belief that you hold about a sky vacuum. What's the answer? Well, you've had... What I'm saying is you've had four years of this. No one's given you an... No one gives a fuck about how long I've had. I'm asking you the question. Now give me an answer to it. I'd say move on. Uh, I'd say suck on uh, my testicles. How about that? How about you do what I tell you? <laughs> yeah, suck my balls. How about that? That's what I say. No, you've moaned that we keep asking the same question. Now I'm putting one of those questions to you and you've got no answers. You're saying I wouldn't like your fundy belief that you hold that's incorrect and violates natural. No, I wouldn't like it because it's not real. The sky's not a vacuum. The Western world think it is. That's why I, I keep asking Nathan. for evidence with fundies talking through me how we could possibly have gas pressure here if the sky was a vacuum. You're yet to answer that. You're moaning about how long I've asked the question rather than addressing it. So go on, fundy, give us an answer. I'm saying if you have not had an acceptable answer for four years, maybe you should move on to something. You've won, but obviously. That's why Let's we keep on. asking. Shut up, Neil. I've won, you say. Oh, Neil, don't take that. I wouldn't tell you to shut up, Neil. I like you. Sorry, you said I've won. Was that if move on because we've won? Because there is no demonstrations of gas pressure without a container. The sky is not a vacuum. So effectively, we've won. You would agree? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'd agree with that. But also, you should apologise to Neil. That was very rude. So you would concede the sky is not a vacuum then based on that? Listen, I'm not qualified to comment. It's just boring, these questions. You don't seem to be wanting to answer. You seem to be wanting us to answer these questions you're moaning about. And then when it's put to you, as they're put in the housekeeping, you don't want to answer. Not qualified. I don't really have a, a I think, sufficient answer. Can, can, can I quickly talk to you, Nathan? If it's okay. One last try, and then yes. So... Sky couldn't be a vacuum because we wouldn't have gas pressure. So, are you asking me? Sorry, I think I, you cut out there, Nathan. Yeah, I'm looking for you, the one who believes we're on a sphere, to concede that it, it would be impossible to have a vacuum because we wouldn't have any gas. I've not once said we're on a sphere, Nathan. Oh, right. You do expect me to believe that with a name like that, you're going to claim you're not on a sphere you think the earth is flat then my name is a is an ironic name do you think the earth is flat or a sphere or any other shape for that matter 
I'm not, to be honest, I'm not sure, Nathan. On the fence. On the fence, on a sphere. So one of the sides of the fence is sphere, then? Yeah, that's not possible. No, sorry, that was a humorous comment. What I mean is I'm probably leaning towards a sphere, but I'm open to sort of like persuasion. I what understand. I'm saying is <laughs> one really one of the premises it. that it's based on is that the sky is a vacuum, though. You understand that that's part of the rhetoric of a sphere Earth? Sky vacuum? Well, no, not really. The sky isn't a vacuum, is it? 10 I mean, to the minus 17 Tor is what your rhetoric of a sphere that you sort of lean towards claims you're, the you're, sky you're is. Can you not talk on? through me? You don't know what your own claim is, and I'm telling you, you don't need to talk through that. You just need to listen. Open to ideas, shut your mouth and listen to them. Your sphere that you're leaning towards claims the sky is 10 to the minus 17 tor. That is most definitely categorised as a smegging vacuum. The most powerful vacuum could be claimed. So, yes, it is claimed the sky is a vacuum if the Earth's a sphere. Do you not appreciate that in spite of the flat earther having to lay it out for you because you think it's not a vacuum? In spite of me pointing out how it very much is claimed to be a vacuum 10 to the minus 17 tor, in spite of the fact that that would leave us with no gas to breathe. But what you're calling the sky is actually space, isn't it? I think most people think the sky is like just above us. No, it's claimed in the heliocentric model to be a vacuum, 10 to the minus 17 tor. You still yet to conceive my point of your rhetoric that you said was wrong and it's not a vacuum. You're just stupid. You don't know your own sphere rhetoric that you're leaning towards. Why would you lean towards something that you don't understand or know? Yes, my friend, you are incorrect. You incorrectly asserted that it's not a vacuum in the heliocentric rhetoric. It definitely isn't a vacuum. We'd all be dead. There'd be no gas here. But the claim is that it is a vacuum from people who lean towards a sphere that they don't understand and they don't appreciate that it's claimed to have a vacuum in that sky. That area you said, no, not vacuum. Yeah, we know it's not a vacuum, but it's claimed to be a vacuum by sphere-believing fundies. I don't think I'm a fundy, Nathan. You're leaning towards something you've got no clue about. You've just told me this system you lean towards, this philosophy you fucking think is real. Leaning towards it with your easily words doesn't change the fact that you haven't got a clue about it. Yeah, but you're saying I'm a fundamentalist, but if you look up fundamentalist, I don't think the definition is leaning towards something, is it? Uh, defending it like you do. Not conceding natural law as a defence to this claim. Really You're not even I conceding making... the claim itself. You're saying, no, the claim I you say the sphere makes is wrong. That's what you've done so far. I've tried to get you to correct your error, and you're not doing it. You're not saying, no, I appreciate now, I was wrong. The thing I lean towards actually does have something that's violating natural law, a claim of a sky vacuum. You've denied that, and you're still yet to concede your error. Unreasonable. A bit like a fundy. No, fun look up fundamentalist. A reasonable level. person would concede their error at this point. You're not. Unreasonable. I don't um, I don't think I've actually made have I Nathan? actually made a point yet, Nathan? Yeah, I asked you in regards to the sphere earth claim that sky's vacuum how it couldn't be and your response was to tell me that it's not a vacuum now i fundamentally agree it can't be a vacuum but then i pointed out that this sphere belief you lean towards which i also had to tie you down on because you're unreasonable that which you claim is actually claimed to be a vacuum despite that being a violation of natural law you said it wasn't that is now four attempts to get you to concede your dumb error your incorrect assertion about the model and philosophy you lean towards, which you clearly don't understand, and I'm having to detail it back to you so I can pummel it. So first I need you to concede that this fundy belief in a sphere has a vacuum as a sky, something you said was wrong. Now in that model, it's claimed to be a sky, although it wouldn't be because that would violate natural law and we'd have no ass, air to breathe. So, wrong. Sphere model has a vacuum, you, you it just can, isn't because it violates natural law. You can have that isn't in a vacuum, Nathan. Why are you asking you me a question? You, you two, claim you the sky... Two points. Yeah, you, you seem to be asking me a question. It's now the fifth attempt for me to point out that in a fundy rhetoric of a sphere Earth, the sky would be a vacuum. And you said, nah. 
Now, fundamentally, correct. No, the sky definitely isn't a vacuum. However, in the sphere model you believe, or lean towards, it's claimed to be a vacuum. We're still yet to get you to concede this point which you denied, even though I've taken six attempts to do it. Unreasonable. What's the other word for unreasonable? A prick. Wanker. Dickhead. There's lots of words to describe unreasonable people that take you six attempts to wanker. get them to actually concede their incorrect assertion about the model they lean towards. Whereby you say it's not a vacuum in the heliocentric model. I point out that it's claimed to be 10 to minus 17 tor. And you start asking me questions rather than conceding your error. Seven attempts. Still no concession. A wanker. That's what you are. A wanker. Yeah, this seems I'll not so much leaning towards as not being able to let go off. Yeah, we all know the reality of what he's saying. To keep his Weasley f on the fence position, leaning towards a model he doesn't understand, we all know, Arwen. Having difficulty letting go as opposed I, to leaning I towards. I said, I have said I'm not an expert, Nathan. All I was saying is it's, these questions are getting boring and you went on this mad rant about I don't know what. All right, having answers to them. So your claim is boring. Mm. Having answers to the question would be better my, than... My claim just, is you'd this prefer boring. no answers. Yes, Tenthaman, you're right. You'd prefer no answers, just drop the questions, right? Now, forget that they've not been no, answered. I, discovery. You need to discover new things, not dwell on the same questions that no one can answer to your... To uh, but they do to claim to have them. answers, though, don't they? That You just deny them when I point that out. So I yeah, point out that there is... Them. Don't talk to me, please. I did point out that there is claim to be answers... It's claimed that the sky is a vacuum, and then you denied it. That's now the eighth attempt at the same exact stage, where rather than moving on and saying, no, there is actually claimed to be answers to these questions you say we should drop, there are claimed to be answers. And when I point those answers out to you, you fundamentally denied the claim that it's a vacuum. That's an answer to that question about how we could have gas pressure without a container. That's an answer. Well, we have a natural law violation, sky vacuum. That's the answer they give on the heliocentric model, mate. You denied it nine times now, my friend. I've pointed that out. Maybe deny it again. Say it's not a vacuum in the heliocentric model, 10 to the minus 17 tor, a violation of natural law if it was real. A claimed answer to this question that we ask daily, that you think we should drop in spite of the being an answer that's complete bollocks in this model you lean towards. Maybe address that and the incorrect assertion that, no, nah, it's not claimed to be a vacuum, violation of natural law. That's what you've said so far. And then obfuscated it, asked me a few questions, told us how boring the question is you can't answer. Can I, can I just say something dead quick? All right. Did we finish housekeeping? No. So you've got these questions. No. Why are you sorry, talking Alan. vacuum? Do you think he was asking you that? Do you think suddenly once you've had your ass handed to you, yeah, it means sorry, you, become, you become the show host? Shut sorry, your mouth, yeah. you dick. Yeah. No, oh, we've not finished I'll yet. We might as well readdress the last question. If he talks through me again, he'll get removed. So any evidence that you can have gas pressure without the necessary antecedent of a container to press upon? Not no. a chance. No, I actually just wanted to ask him a few simple rudimentary questions to see if he would actually have any logic in his brain. Be my guest. Question one. Does your tea get cold? If it's yes, then you have logic. Question two. If you pop a tire, does the high pressure go to low pressure? If answer is yes, logic. So why the hell would your globe that has a low pressure that's separate will not have entropy increase. It is your cup of tea 6,000 miles wide? If, if it was, would it not get cold? Well, I don't know, but we can't have that experiment. You don't we? know. How does the size relate to the question? I'm just saying, size often makes a difference in, in science, doesn't it? No, natural law doesn't change. Well, it, it doesn't make any difference in this specific question, though. Well, it so does actually. Do. It's a false yeah, No, it does make a difference. It, You're comparing a cup of on. tea with Let's just get to the a end globe 6,000 okay. or whatever miles wide. A cups of tea aren't that big, generally. The entropy increase would be larger if you increase the size of this cup of tea. 
I'm just saying it's not a very good equivalency. Well, it's not very good when you massively increase the size of it, other than it would increase the entropy rate. And, and if you had a tyre that was 6,000 miles wide, who knows what would happen? Would there be a gradient? Yeah, probably. I think the point of Flapzoid's questions were was to figure out whether you had... Uh, the ability to apply logic. I think by the way in which you've answered them, the answer is no. Um, you seem to be applying another question, which you could apply the same logic to, apply the same laws of nature, and still come up with a decent logical answer, but you seem to be struggling. I, I um, haven't so answered any no questions. I've just posed, not able I've to posed do another variable, process. which is... He's definitely logically. capable of interruption, though, isn't he, at the point that you point out his yeah. stupid idiot yeah. nature that he doesn't understand logic. That's what he's here to do. Yeah. In here. Are, are we disreg? Thank you. I couldn't hear a word Adam said. Me neither. Yes, Adam, you're correct. He just yeah. uh, he just failed to show he has any logic in anything, so he can't actually deduce reality from fantasy. Been an apt demonstration of his his, his his willingness to try and avoid anything because if as soon as he's tied down, he I moves am straight. Here, you know, you can address me directly. Ant, honestly, would be a great detriment to his argument, wouldn't it? He's not here to sit in a fence. He's here to derail the here, show. Yeah. That's very rude. Exactly. It's like you were rude to a Neil before, Nathan. You should apologize still for that. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, now he's here to tell Nathan yeah. how to run his show yeah. and, and what he's manner. He's here to derail the show. Ah. <laughs> you, you should be on your knees suckling my testicles. Why aren't you? That's what you should be doing, Don't giving me good eye contact do- your- while you suck my nuts. Why aren't you doing that right now? That's what you should be doing. I hope your daughter's not in the room because that's the story. Right, that's what you should be doing. Why aren't you doing that? That's what you should be doing. That's what your worthy task would be to suck my nuts. Children don't listen to you. you yeah, I know you don't Twitter listen. Your likes, yes. Yeah, I, this is for the audience's benefit, you dumb idiot. Adam's pointing out how stupid you are. And rather than listening to where you lack the capability of applying logic, you started speaking through him, making you dumb. Then you started demanding what I should be doing. So I'm doing exactly the same, but making it overt and extreme. You should be sucking my nuts. Yeah? No, you're not going to tell anybody on this panel what they should be doing. Yeah? Do you get it, dickhead? You kiss your mother with that mouth. Yeah, do you understand? You're not in charge here. You, you seem to fail to understand what the situation is. You're a grunt, a nobody, a scumbag fundy who we take pleasure in humiliating. That's it. That's your only purpose here. To be what you are, stupid, globe-believing idiot. Now, you think that when you behave that way, and we point out how you've behaved and analyse it, that you should tell us that you're still here. We have zero respect for you. We will talk about you all day long with you listening. Literally, we have no respect for you. None. You think you deserve some? You don't. You deserve to be told to suck my nuts. And that's what's happening. You're being told that by me. Now, you don't have to like it. You think you can interrupt it, you can't. Sit down, be a good dog, know your place, we're going to talk about you. We've got no respect for you. Yeah, respect has to be earned. (laughs) Um, No, no, everyone has respect, but it gets eroded away. That's a a misconception, Arwen, that everyone everyone earns respect. Okay, you had respect, you had our respect, and then within about 15 seconds of speaking, you lost it all because you're a complete wanker. Yes, we know. You eroded away all your respect almost immediately. Yes, well done. Good summary. Thank you. That's exactly why I spoke in. I listened. I gave you an opportunity, and having listened to you, um, you did lose my respect. Just just one other point, though. I mean, I don't want to discourage you doing this stuff. I know you guys think this is clever and all sorts of stuff, but for us that have been here for a while, to see that all you can come with now when we ask the housekeeping questions you can't address them all you can come with is this and not even novel what you're doing is it's not your routine it's a routine you ballers all share because it's all you've got left so just to say keep it up because that's what the shows are now it's demonstrating to everybody what you've got which is nothing isn't it this this kind of very liberal kind of wishy-washy attitude to try and smirk over and change the nature of the question so you do have a chance at answering it and we're happy for you to demonstrate that it's great yeah, oh, i just on, don't understand so how a person can claim to be honest and just can't be right up explain i mean it's simple you, you do you have, have a very soothing voice so i'll give you that 
But what you were saying was bullshit. We don't care about Can the we just dismissal. This yeah, your your opinion, uh, your assumption that we're using reverse psychology, like we care about swaying your opinion in some way. No, you're a tool that we're using. Well, you, you spent four. You're a tool. We're using you to demonstrate our point. You're too stupid Very to realise that, that you're being used there, as a though, tool. Wasn't it? Say again, Adam. Very telling that at that point we came back with bullshit after being taken the moral high ground for quite a while. There, when there was a salient point, he he had to try and address. What we came back with was, was bullshit. Yep. Oh dear, collapsing an argument. That's a bad Carry impression. on. I'm just saying, Nathan's just said he's not bothered about swaying my opinion, but you spent 40 minutes on me, which I'm always pleased no, we're not, to Do, do you not argument. understand what we've just said? <laughs> we're, we're demonstrating to the audience what you've got. We're, we're not bothered about what you think. I don't think ever we'd ever going to sway because you've come here with an agenda that's fine but we're happy to demonstrate what you the the very weak argument your agenda has we're happy to keep doing that but not in a hope to change your mind. my only only argument was a very very shallow one on how boring the show is nathan take not addressing what i just said again yeah he's not no no too stupid (laughs) (laughs) if it's so boring why is he here if it's so boring what's he here he thinks it's a counselling session. Answer. He thinks I've spent 40 minutes appealing to him, not realising that I'm producing a live show, and he is merely a tool being utilised to make a point. He thinks we're counselling him. I've got all the clips I need. I've got all the clips I need, Nathan, so don't worry. This is just a bonus for me. For, for yeah, what? Very good. Your family what do you use those clips for <laughs> to make himself look stupid. It's my scrapbook. <laughs> it's, it's my yeah. online scrapbook. This is this is where my quote this is where my quote shines through for this guy. It'd be nice if we could get answers to the housekeeping questions. I think and I for one agree at- that they should keep going until we get answers. Hey Chocolate. And I think he's at this point trying to haphazardly gaslight us. It's very sad, though. He's more like gaslighting himself at this point. Morning, guys. Good morning, Chocolate. And I didn't hey, hear. Oh, here we go. Nathan, tell me to shut up guns. so he don't have to apologize. The big guns are here. Hey, Chuck. Oh, that was fun. So you've got, so you've got clips you, you. of the show, and we have the whole show. And what is that going to do for your side when we have the whole show and you just have clips of you embarrassing yourself? He's going to put See, a massive montage together to put him down flat earth. earth. <laughs> Somebody's taking clips of, questions, of the show? Uh, does does he know the show is like live stream? He thinks this is on a one to one. So he's going to take his one to one count. Maybe it's the only way. Maybe it's the is only that, way they can prove that clips. Saying? Is that chocolate saying? There's a lot of sound on the show today. Why is that? And you know, you still haven't answered me. Does your tea get cold? By the way, no, because he oh, wants sorry, it, he wants the size of the shit. teacup we're, we're to be yours. We're way past that, mate. We're way past those bullshit questions. Let me put it this way: my daughter's five years old, and believe me, she has much more intellect than you. She must be Wait, there. Which questions is he talking and about? And that she's going no. on the yeah. path. No, maybe, oh, maybe. Just answer chocolate. No, we're not asking housekeeping. No, he's been asked, does your cup of tea get cold? That's what he's been asked. I'm not even joking. Maybe we can formulate it a little bit yes, more shit. directly. So just did ask, did do you answer that? Entropy applies to the earth. Uh, oh, Owen's complicated it. Let me just answer chocolate again. Because it, it it, it's high-pitched and inflection made me realize that he's a bit shocked by that right chocolate no he hasn't answered that chocolate he's not being asked about entropy he's been asked very simplistic questions to test his ability to apply logic by flatsoid and he hasn't answered that's correct chocolate <laughs> okay <sighs> quick shout out to yeah. plunder thank you for catching me up it's a quick shout out to plunder 23 who's joined as a hyena thank you very much for joining as a member I think we should fill chocolate in on what hey. he said about the teacup being as large as the earth. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a bit unfair. He did answer. He answered chocolate with, <laughs> well, but it depends how big the cup of tea is. No, but I didn't that, say that. That's not... You've misquoted me there. Listen back. Oh, I do apologise. Don't you forget the tire. How does the size matter? It doesn't. 
it just more surface, more entropy spread out. It's still going to be the same amount of entropy based on the local heat situation, whatever it is. Doesn't matter how well, big it is. He's just changing the volume. It's going to be the same. Hang on, hang on, hang on. He said something about 6,000 miles in relationship to what Adam said about the teacup. So what was he saying if he wasn't saying, depends what the size of the key, teacup is? What were you saying? I asked the question. I asked well, if it you, made any difference. Well, I don't have the answer. No, no. you Same said answer. that it depends how big the teacup is, and you said 6,000 miles. What were you referencing? No, no, I didn't say that. Adams just said, I said yeah, you that, did. but I didn't. Now you sort of compound on a lie. You compound on a lie there. Sorry. Because did you say 6,000 miles? Did you say those words, 6,000 no, miles? Asked, I asked, is the teacup 6,000 miles or something to that? Correct. Then you did say it. So you asked it as a question. Did, no, now, no, I didn't. How many 6,000 mile teacups have you ever seen? Why would you ask such a preposterous question? It's an idiotic question when answering a question that's trying to establish no, because if you can apply logic or not. You're trying to establish the physics of a huge globe with a tiny teacup. That was my point. Oh, no, I'm oh, pointing out. Is. I'm just trying to find out if you've got any logic. That's all. That's Sorry, we're trying to establish the what of a what? I thought you only leaned towards this fundamentalist religious belief that you've just employed carte oh, blanche without even there, realizing it and then started talking through me when I point that out to you. So you are absolutely a fundy then. You automatically assume your fundamentalist fear based <laughs> religious belief and then talk through someone who points that out to you. Yeah, there, yeah, you are definitely a fundy, my friend. You may not like that description, but given that you've just arbitrarily applied a sphere belief to that last statement, I'm going to label you a fundamentalist, my friend. Not arbitrarily a sphere that we're trying to figure out. Just your understanding that it's always going to be a sphere that we're trying to figure out because that's your fundamentalist religious belief that you hold. So, dear, in spite of you claiming you lean towards this fundy belief you hold. Yeah, you ripped down the fence there, buddy. Yeah. Um... I've forgotten what I was even talking about. Today. Yeah, being called a fundy and having it demonstrated by your use of <laughs> fundamentalist religious rhetoric is going to throw you off a bit. Fundy, fundamentalist. Look it Can up, mate. Just, Look it up. Talk too quickly. Yeah, your I application of your fundy quickly. belief, mate. In your last well, statement, can't keep up with what you're you declared about. about a sphere-shaped earth that we were all trying to figure out. No, that's just your fundamentalist belief that you applied arbitrarily, mate. Maybe ignore it or say I'm speaking too quickly. You are a fundy, a fundamentalist. Look it up. Your arbitrary application of your sphere belief was telling in your last statement, making you a fundy. No, we're not trying to figure out with a 6,000 mile teacup what a sphere earth does. That's merely your fundamentalist religious belief I'm pointing out to you, my friend. Your arbitrary application was very telling. Thank you. I am. Um, I like the intonation of your sentences, Nathan. That's lovely, fundamentalist religious sphere believing globe zealot. That's fascinating. Thanks. Well, you got a few more clips of you embarrassing yourself. Push comes to oh, no, shove. You always go the, back to the sphere. My embarrassing bits out. So don't you actually that. think size makes the, a the difference? The embarrassing stuff I've said out. won't make it into the clips. Don't worry. The clips about what? You failing to ask, answer a simple question about whether or not a cup of tea gets cold? It's pathetic, mate. If you don't realise that, you're done in Kruger, my friend. The question was pathetic. You are right about that. <laughs> okay. We're trying to educate a, no a normie moron, which is you, on entropy with simplistic steps. Normie fundy. Yeah. What are all these words? You, you with your fundamentalist religious zealot sphere belief that you arbitrarily applied in your last statement about us trying to figure out what a sphere does by asking you if a cup of tea gets cold. Even a question about a cup of tea getting cold somehow relates to your sphere belief, making you a fundy. But you can't really be a normie and a fundy, surely. Those two are, are opposites. No, normies have a sphere belief. They just don't even know it. Most people are acutely unaware that they've got a fundamentalist sphere earth belief. Most people don't realise that, but they're normies. So no, you're wrong again. Of your own words here, Nathan. Come on, mate. Wow. 
This is an awkward silence, isn't it? Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's, it, you're very awkward. You're unable to have uh, a conversation. You move the conversation constantly. It's. I'm not trying to have a very conversation. Very noticeable. If I was trying to have a conversation, I'd invite. It's not even it's so awkward. Something. It's pathetic. Yeah. I just the class was silent. It was quite awkward. I just need to finish talking. Yeah, I just want to know. I didn't speak to you in any bad way or nothing. I asked you a simple question that I would ask a three-year-old. And it's just simply outright dishonest how you acting. Would you Would you really think that I'm willing well, to be the, the way you're showing you yourself only to ask a three -year -old The way you portray all the is sort of it implies that it's 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 asked with aggression or ill intent, doesn't it? The fact that you'd only ask a three-year-old that. So don't give me that bullshit. While it's showing your intellect, you're dishonest. Because a three-year-old would be able to answer you. I'm being outright straight now to you. You're a bloody prick in a dishonest way. <laughs> because I asked you straight. And you just can't answer me. Like I said, my five-year-old can actually go and teach a lot of you globies about entropy. And she's five bloody years old. What right. does that tell you about so your So are you saying I don't know the answer because I didn't answer you? We haven't answered. We haven't answered. So do you think I don't know the answer? Is that what you're saying? God, you want us to be telepathic now? You want us to divine what we think you might think? No, we're not mystic, Meg, you stupid idiot. We can simply ask you and you can choose not to answer as you've done. You don't have to then ask us to divine your thoughts like mystic Meg, you complete clown. Shout out to Dazcon333 who's joined as a unicorn. Thank you very much for joining as a channel member. Really do appreciate it. So you would be able to answer, does your tea get cold? It doesn't want to answer. It no wants to way. He's still on this question. An hour. What? I thought it's you'd either shot a yourself trap question, question as in a gotcha, or it's an insulting question. A gotcha way, about entropy. No, an no. Descriptions of entropy, they're not gotchas. Was, they're was, I not, was, was I not straightforward and asked him, I want to ask him some logical questions. It has nothing to do with entropy. I'm literally asking about your logic. So if I don't wow. answer this question, do you think I don't know the answer? Why are you bloody out not answering it? So that's you either don't know no, or that's you just bloody a don't. That's a question, a logic question. So does your tea get cold not a logic question? Just... It is a logic question, but if I don't answer it, does that mean I don't know the answer? It means it you're mean a you're stupid dishonest. troll and you're wasting our time, you ass. It means you're dishonest. <laughs> oh, and I think you've but got it right. Well, then, it's either that. one or two things. One thing, you are either dishonest and you don't want to answer, or two, you are very dumb. No, I'm just bored. I'm just bored. Actually, he has answered bored. the question because he's shown he's so steeped in the globe religion. So the you question. A, and this you is make it a habit of this looking lockdown. for things that bore you to participate in? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, funny. This, what's this wrong, what's of, wrong with you? I noticed that I, this I started joining these conversations when oh, lockdown God. started. Did you notice that? Ask him, ask him again, Chocolate. Do you usually find try to find things that bore you to participate in? If you're so bored, why are you here? No, understand. no, I'm I'm here because I'm bored. Sorry, I'm, you misunderstood. Oh, you're here because you're bored. Oh, okay. So you were here How is this? Yeah, so like when I get you, the odd hour at two o'clock, well, I'm, I'm, on I'm confused now. It's Sorry, I, my understanding was that you were here because you were undecided about the nature of Earth, leaning mm. towards a particular philosophy. So that's just not true. Then you're actually here because you're bored. Yeah, that that was but that was bullshit, Nathan. So you just and, lied. And that's yeah, his concession that the well. show is. Yeah, so you're also that's a liar. His concession yeah. that... We we already Sorry. established that lie without having the overt admission to it, which you've just given us. Nevertheless, we already established that you're a fundamentalist, sphere-believing, religious zealot. A fundamentalist, my friend. A fundy. We, we established that. Or a normie, as you call me. And 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 he just conceded that the show is great. It's not boring. Because if you're bored and going somewhere, not to be bored. That's yeah. really I good. make it great. Shop, thanks. I make it great. But, but hold on. If you took it upon yourself to want to participate because you were bored and you're now participating instead of just, you know, listening. So when Flat Sword asks you a question, well, I don't understand why you don't just answer it. Why, is that not cool? Was it a tough question? Or, yeah. I don't even understand why this is a thing right now. No, but it's, it's, it's interesting. 
it's interesting that he would only ask a three-year-old that question, yet he's asking me it. So, so oh, he's not asking that question just is insulting, even though he says it isn't. Wait, did he say that he would only ask a three-year-old that? I don't. No, that catch came me later. up, man, because I, I just got here. I don't. Know. I'm trying later. to understand. That came later on. When he didn't answer the question. Basically, Chocolate, instead no, he must... of answering the question in any way, shape or form, he will obfuscate and try to redirect the question. So when when Flatside said, when he didn't get a response, and he said, well, you're dishonest, even my three-year-old answered this, what he decided to do was take the conversation towards that. Ah, uh, okay, yes. okay, in I get it. standard old school, oh, move straight away. If, even to the point where he's complimenting Nathan on his intonation in, in, in his sentences. Like, in no way can he go towards answering the question because, as Nathan clearly points out, even though he denied it but then admits he was a liar, he is a very religious seller on this topic and he can't go near honestly answering it because it will underline the fundamental contradictions in his beliefs. Whoa. All right, Fraser Crane. <laughs> you got, you got, you got <laughs> jokes. I that that was funny. Funny. I'll take that as a compliment. I would take that, that as a compliment too. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best thing you said, Vacuum. Yes, at this point, that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but okay. at this point, he's at this point he's becoming tedious. Uh, <laughs> well, so well, hold up, man. So, so, so my analysis, and I'll send him my bill. So it's problematic for you to answer the question, does hot tea get cold? Very. That question. It's not problematic. <laughs> See? It's not. It sounds like it's problematic. Does hot tea get cold? <laughs> this is pathetic. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hi. Does hot tea get cold? Un under what conditions? <laughs> really? <laughs> under the conditions that the room around it that the tea is in is cooler than the tea. Does that work for you? The the room, room the, let's the room say room let's say room warmer. temperature. You ever heard room temperature? What, what do you mean by room, chocolate? What do you mean by room? <laughs> <We're talking about laughs> room. <laughs> oh, Hold on, what scale of temperature? <laughs> Is it a room 6,000 miles? So, what? So, so what's the <laughs> question? No, no, sorry, go on. What's the question? Your room uh, does a cup of tea get cold? That's the question. It's been about 25 minutes. In a room temperature room? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the room gets warmer. In your kitchen, okay? The room gets warmer. So what happens to the, the tea? The kitchen gets warmer. What happens to the tea? What happens to the tea? Asked about? <laughs> <laughs> you can't be serious, man. All right, I, I'm, I'm done with this, right? So, chuck, uh, not chocolate, <laughs> flat soid. Oh, is he dropped? Bollocks. Just at the moment, I wanted him to give <laughs> a summary of why he was asking that question. <laughs> it's not yet. Wonderful. <laughs> well done. I still have so many tea puns. <laughs> Feel free, knock yourself out. Hey, Quantum was... Racer. Good job. Yeah, he's, he's, he was teethering. He's gone absentee oh now. He's <laughs> <laughs> oh, here to stir. He's here to stir. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best one. Good one. Good one. Every man has his moment. <laughs> uh, vacuum. What happens to the tea in that room again? The room increases in temperature, he's told you. Yes. Yeah, but I'm not asking about the room. <laughs> the, the tea, man. The tea in the cup. Doesn't matter. He got tea bag today anyway. Bro brother. Brother. I mean, come on. To be fair, that was all right. <laughs> really? Isn't that answer good enough for you? What, the room gets hotter when being asked about what happens yeah. to the tea itself. Answering about what a room does, you think that's a satisfactory answer? But well, we were just talking about logic. We were talking about logic, weren't we? So I think that's a good answer.
Well, in answer to the question, does a cup of tea get cold? Your answer is the room gets warmer. You asked us earlier if we thought that, or you asked us to divine your feelings and thoughts on this subject matter and whether or not you had the answer. Well, you're wrong. You don't, you can't possibly think that answering what the room does to does a cup of tea get cold is a satisfactory answer. I mean, you've answered that now, that's your answer, so you are actually stupid then. This is really poetic because my I chimed in when you started talking about the stars when we were talking about the Earth's core. So that's really poetic, what you just said there, really, isn't it? It's sort of like a nice closure to the show. I should be in your position, Nathan, come on. Why so does you? he get cold? Can be. It's YouTube, my friend. You can be in my position. It's YouTube. Everyone can be on YouTube. Shout out to Al Junkie. Great oh, team. Believe me. Work. Believe me. Schooling this idiot. Oh, my YouTube. God. Try that again. Yeah, you want to be where I am, my friend, clearly, because you're talking literally while I'm talking. Al Junkie, thank you very much for the super chat. says, great tea mm, work schooling this idiot, guys. Thank you very much for the super chat. That was a poor pawn. What was his name? I'll give him a shout out too. I can be your co-host. Okay, go on then. Give him give him a big shout out. You really want to be Nathan, don't you? Seems so. Imitation, highest form of flattery. With that, I'm going to say a huge, massive, enormous thank you to both Discord and G Plus panels, first and foremost, for making this live show possible. Of course, if you are watching this on either Nathan Oakley 1980 or Nathan Oakley Premiering Streams, then stay tuned as there will be an after show to follow. Unfortunately, if you are watching this live, this is where we bid you farewell. A massive thank you to who, all of you who joined, smashed the super chat, liked, commented, shared, subscribed, and all that good stuff. Be sure to check out NathanOakley.com and the Flat Earth Debate Forum to keep up to date with the community debate. I've been Nathan Oakley. Stay tuned if you're watching on a Premiering Stream, and I'll see you all in the next video. Yep. The show end. Yes, we're in the after show. All right. Sorry, guys. Did you guys just finish the show now? Yes, sir. All right. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, our clocks went back. Right. In case you're wondering why we we're an hour ahead for you. No, I figured this out from last time. I remember what was happening last time. Like, oh, you UK guys. So the time changed over there, but not over here. So I'm like, okay. Yeah, a couple I of weeks, you. it'll all be back to normal. Right. Okay, I'm back now. Anyways, I had to get a new cup of tea because it got cold. <laughs> you guys must <laughs> get to the times. You guys must Literally. get to the times. Literally, yeah. You guys must get to the no. times. And in South Africa, time never changes. And tea always gets cold. Oh, oh, can, my, you, my, can you my, stop my, urinating on my after show? Sorry, I was just pouring in my tea. Oh, it was tea. Oh, oh no problem. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tea, not tea. Yeah, no, it's tea. We're on the tea suns, right? I, I guess the true colors came out from vacuum because he's anti flat earth. Ah, oh, boom, boom. <laughs> Let's just put a tea bag on it. Uh, so, <laughs> Neil, Neil already got that one in. Oh, I missed it. How about for it's okay. You, you're pretty good at multitasking, though. Oh, it's okay. I won't, I won't, I won't anticipate it. Well. Oh, God, bad <laughs> puns. Hey. And TC, that I love it. Hey, Brian. We haven't said hello to you yet. I'm tears. Hey, Nathan. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm just making uh, some food, so I, I'll be on mute for a while. I, I, I'm sorry. It's not Brian. It's McDowd, for sure. Every time he talks, I just see and I thought it was old, old. <laughs> see Hamish.
I didn't catch that flat sword. What did you say? You every time Brian talks, you hear him. Every, yeah, every time he talks, I just think of that McDowd filler. The actor. Which, which actor? Let's spend ten minutes on this. <laughs> you know that actor let's not, that thing. Just let's, show the freaking picture already. No, let's not. <laughs> let's let's not because it's getting me fatigued. Oh God! No, <laughs> any more tea puns? <laughs> I gotta stop. There's right, too many. Time of the day, tenth man. That's more. We're gonna be left well, with tenth man. I I've got a tip it. for you. Give up the tea joke. Whole... Listen, why don't you just follow the government and stay quarantined? That was a joke. That was a joke. By the way, tips. You know, no, you don't even know what happens tea to tea from hot to cold. Well, how can you know a joke? Yeah, just answer the key question. Extremely empty feeling after all these puns. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you just tee it up. <laughs> so that's the I think he watches this too much. Tedious, TV. guys. <laughs> oh, good one, Owen. Tedious. Very good. At least we had fun. He today. watches too much TV. Boom, boom. <laughs> that mine was a clever joke. <laughs> No, the joke's on you. Sorry for my critiquing of you. Do you think, do you think a chimp yes. could answer that question? <laughs> answer the question. Now you're going to get it. And not with a question, by the way. Answering with so a you question. Pour a hot cup of tea, you put it down on the table. Does it get cold or does it get hotter? Are you asking me? Yeah, he is, yeah. Does it get cold or does it get hotter? You know you've had a half an hour to Google it. <laughs> you need Google for this, again. right? Give us a minute. <laughs> <laughs> They're waiting. Oh, I'm tea, starting to wondering does the tea get hotter point, or colder? How well did he do in me? school? You, you know, guys have handlers and shit. Like, you I, have somebody I telling you he, when to answer or when to not. Like, I, I don't understand the tactic here, guy. He's terrific. Yeah, the tactic is ob obfuscation. <laughs> you see, the tactic I wish is the team would suck off. Said the tactic is obfuscation. But why? What's the motivation behind that? I told you before, I'm really, really bored during lockdown sometimes. Uh, so you came in here to cure your boredom by obfuscating simple questions asked to you? Genuinely, I would love to sit down in a pub with Nathan because I, I could probably, if he didn't shout over people so much, I think he'd be a really interesting person to talk to. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. I think you'd be an annoying prick in a pub. Let me put it this way. If you I, had see, to come I to always me in a buy pub my rounds, you... Nathan. You sound like the kind of person who cheap skates around. I, I go to the pub. Yeah. I don't even drink. <laughs> oh, God, I, don't I don't even drink. <laughs> you don't, you drink. don't even drink, you don't even drink tea. Everybody. No, I'm teetotal. Terrible. I don't drink. Tea. I'm teetotal. <laughs> yeah, but you don't drink tea or water or lemonade yeah, or the pun was, cola. Pun was beyond you, clearly. <laughs> oh, that was oh, a good oh, one. No, tea you know, it's quite I an think, obvious I think, joke. I think he's been too drink too much. No, but in seriousness, I don't drink. Teeth, no, no, I don't drink. Haven't haven't drank for quite a long You don't long drink period. any liquids. Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you can buy more than alcohol in a pub. You'd have. Yeah, but why would you? I didn't say. It. I, well, didn't I don't say see it. the point. Social contact. All oh, right. He has a family and children, dumbass. You know? Well, I've often wondered if he does. The amount he swears oh, and the amount he... He doesn't yeah. have time for that shit. So let me, let me ask him a question. What would, you, what would you order in the pub? He uh, often wonders. Skull. Cold, you, you order okay, cold well, tea. That co what happens to that uh, cold tea? Does it get hot? 
The room gets warmer. <laughs> oh, sorry, did you say a cold tea? Well, the room gets just cooler. Technically, that's correct. Hang on, he's just solved my energy uh, issues. I'll get rid of the heater, the fireplace, and just get a cup of tea. No, it's not technically. Well, it's not going to be a lot warmer, but technically it will well, that, be. That's Wait a second. In. The room gets warmer with a cold cup of tea? If it's no. really cold and it, and, and it gets warmer, the room gets hotter? The heat spreads out into the room. Questions about Slightly. the tea in the cup, not about the room. Pathetic. Really pathetic. But it's not really. I am answering the question. But if Nathan don't want to go, I will go with you. You're, you're not asking. You're not <laughs> answering you the much. question. The oh, question is about the much. tea in the cup, not about the room. Do you get that? I think it's more interesting what is happening in the room. Welcome but to nobody's one asking them. about the room. The question is <laughs> about the tea in the cup. Man, I'm well, thinking, why and I can why do you think again, answering a question that you think is more interesting than the question that was asked, how does that make you seem functional? Yes, but the answer to the question isn't that what you think it is. That's the point I'm getting at. Oh, so you so earlier you asked us to divine what you might or might not know about this question, and now you're divining our thoughts, Mystic Meg. But we all know what you want me to say, and that's not... Oh, he's still doing correct. it. So, Mystic Meg, you can divine the thoughts of those around you, and you know what they <laughs> that's think. That's an old No, mate, down, I'll just mate. carry on with you talking through me while I point out that you're literally suggesting that you're telepathic right now. No, you're not. I'm sorry, but was I not Mystic straightforward Meg? and just said I'm just asking logical questions? I'm giving you a logical answer. About a cup no, that you're, you're being asked about. No, you're not. You're, you're answering about some, a non sequitur, non related room and its temperature. It's just an idiot. Non related? Non yeah, when you're asked about a cup and a liquid in it and what that does, to answer about how fast a car goes or about the temperature of a room is not answering the question about the liquid and the cup. Isn't that bloody obvious? If it's not, you are retarded. It's that simple. You just said it's not related. It's not the question being asked. It's not a related answer. No. Wow. That's amazing. I didn't expect that from you. Are you disappointed now? Vic, you, you debate I'm, I'm with about your to expectations. I'm going to cry. And you're Can you imagine that we are in part I don't understand. Now. Yeah, again, he seems to be under the impression that we're on bated breath for his responses. Or we care. No, we don't care. Nah. Oh, your expectations have been shattered. We literally couldn't care less about what you think or feel about anything. The fact that you're prepared to divine the people's thoughts around you is my current issue. Still, obviously, not being addressed. You'd rather address your non sequitur answer to a liquid and whether or not it gets cold or not. Why we? You've amazed me. We don't care. Are you deaf? Your th feelings on this matter do not concern us. We have no respect for you, and we don't care about how you feel about it. But Usually it people who shout, the they don't care, actually do him. care. That's Fraser Crane 101 right there, Adam. Yeah, I've already given you uh, the kudos on this very weak point that you're now continuing down as if you think you've got something with Nathan with regards to the temperature of the room. So... It's really, it's really quite weak, man. I don't know if you think you're being clever or play it. I do hope you play it back because this is, you sound ridiculous, dude. It's, it's, it, it's embarrassing listening to you. Yeah. I don't know what you think you're achieving. But thank you for it because, you know, there are rational people out there that will listen to this. And just one point is this, you know, when you go to the pub to be social with people, is this what you do with them? You're like one of those crazy no, blokes. Because then, yeah. where, where, where I'm from, you're like, like, uh, not related yeah, to whatsoever. Yeah. Everything I've said. He Ooh. definitely sounds like the local village idiot. Yeah, I agree. Really. <sighs> <laughs> I just, I just understand why they're with. We're your friends. Why aren't they helping you? Is it because they also see our stupid job? Oh, that's an ad home, isn't it? 
while well, you you literally can't answer a simple question you're just showing a dishonest prick here so why must i not add on this stupid idiot not at home <laughs> well i wasn't well, actually stupid attacking home, i'm not actually Isn't attacking it? your Maybe character based on an argument i'm just telling you straight out you are an idiot yeah with with demonstrations so no it's not an ad hom definitely not you know we're not it's not failing to respond to some argument you've presented and then just calling you an idiot as a response to the argument you've laid down he's not doing that that's what an ad hom would be you know you are an idiot you've demonstrated oh, okay. that so it's just a description so just, of what you are rude then, is you know it? again you ask us questions like would you behave like this down the pub and claim that well so long as nathan didn't talk through people but yet you continually talk through everyone like you just did moments earlier so would you behave bad like that down the pub no, I, I just said in, in answer to the question, if I behave like this, I'd probably end up getting glassed where I'm from. <laughs> right. Oh, so, I, I bet that oh, happened uh, quite a few times, time, right? Yeah. How many pubs did you get kicked out of so far? No, you wouldn't behave like this in a pub. No, I'm, say, I'm saying I don't act this way down the pub. No. I have reasons. Why are you doing it now? What, 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 he can. Well, why are you... Internet. Internet people. They're normally, typically, like beta cucks failures people who aren't respected in general society and they have this like invisible force field that they put up when they come online and they think they can behave like they really are so people tend to let loose when they get online when there's less consequences apparent they behave like the actual pricks that they really are and that's all that's happening he wouldn't behave like this because like you say he'd get glassed but that is who he is though that's how he behaves but there's no consequences here so he just gets to express how he is a wanker but that sounds exactly like you don't like even have confidence do, in yourself. Nathan, like if you, you, you have if you to change how you a act. Wanker in like, real I act the way I act, wherever the fuck I go. Broken, you? I don't understand. You act like this on the internet, but then you, you go to the club or the pub or whatever, and you just what? You're just soft? I don't understand. Yeah. So you don't even have do, enough... Do you think I'm being uh, too aggressive? Uh, is that what you're saying? You don't even have enough man, rude and too aggressive. manliness in you to be yourself. Exactly. I that's my sorry. point, Chocolate. I feel... and you just declared that yourself. That's correct, Chocolate. chocolate. Exactly. That's yeah, so little soft, beta bro. Cuts. I can't respect that. Chocolate, that if you had to go to your girlfriend or wife or something and she asked you a question and you just refused to answer it, what do you think would happen? Straight. Okay. <laughs> you get in trouble. How do you know I'm straight? <laughs> you think she would like that? Come on. We don't care. We're not inferring your sexuality. We're pointing out that you've just told us that the way you behave here... You appreciate that in general society, if you were face to face with somebody, it would get you in trouble. Now, I'm responding to that like I would absolutely respond to you in a pub based on how you've spoken to me. Now, you're saying, well, I'd get glassed around by me, obviously rough where you live. Round by me, you'd probably get called a wanker. Now, your response to that based on your behavior is to say that you would want to punch me for pointing out what a wanker you are. Now, that is how I am. I am exactly how I behave here because I'm not some beta cuck that hides behind a million miles of fibre optic cable to actually let themselves express how they are. I am exactly like this in person as well. Straight you know what I think's funny? Yeah. <laughs> Everything you're saying now is based on things I've told you. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> My God, this guy's so oh, delusional. He's a secret king, guys. He's the mastermind of it all. Uh, you he got it, Alwyn. Spot on. We did. Just say that again, Alwyn. Say that wow. again, please. Not me. He's the secret king. He's the mastermind, and he's programmed every one of us. Right, I was wrong. I completely, I concede. Not some beta cuck. Nah, gamma. <laughs> what <Well>, gamma? <laughs> <laughs> This is all down to you, really. Really, it's all your secret plan, Mr. I'm the king of everything, right? <laughs> Laugh it up, cuck. You're an idiot. You're being berated by people who are your superior. That's what's actually happening. You are thick, even though you think that you've somehow orchestrated this because you're the king of everything, right? <laughs> Yeah, laugh it up. It's embarrassing. <laughs> That's what people do when they react to the actual circumstances of their pathetic life being laid out to them, you pathetic gamma. That's what you are. Yeah? yeah? This is how you'd like to be. This is how you'd like to be in real life. Assertful. Assertive, my bad. You're not. 
in the pub, you'd be the guy sat in the corner not saying anything because you know you'd probably get glassed if you ever opened your mouth and behave like you actually are. People would despise you and probably hurt you. That's the kind of person you are in real life. Yeah, you are the kind of person who gets beaten up in a pub because you're a pathetic little twat. Me, nah, I'm not that kind of person. I still behave like I behave, though, exactly the same as I am now. I tend not to get beaten up in pubs. I tend to have a good laugh with people in pubs when I used to drink and smoke in pubs. Not that you can do that anymore. But yeah, people didn't yeah. tend to glass me. They tend to have a laugh with me. You, on the other hand, you want to behave like your actual self, which is this, and it would probably get you beaten up because you're a wanker. No, I, think you're future, future. Do you, are you, I like the way you believe in everything I've, tell, I've told you, Nathan. Yeah, keep it up, Gamma. Divine my thoughts about what I believe in what you've said. You, Oh, my God. He doesn't know what it is, Arwin. He doesn't have a clue what descriptive derogatory term we're assigning to him. He doesn't know what it means. He keeps doing it. How will he? How will yeah. he? He thinks tea stays, gets warm. Uh, I think he's entering you a are psychotic all levels my right orchestra. now. I, you are I my philharmonic this discord. You know, I, I just think that's a big declaration that you would come here and say, and I don't care if you would say, oh, you're just you're responding because of what I said to you. Yeah, we're going to respond to the fucking words you said, because <laughs> yeah. that's how that works, right? So I think it's big that you would come Chocolate, in here and you, just say, well, the way I act Chocolate, in you here, be, you I can... wouldn't act at the pub, right? Yeah. Because I'm sure that's the, that, that, that's the case for a lot of you guys. You already right? said before that, Chocolate. Because half, the half the shit you guys say, you would say in somebody's face. Call that a phony. Guarantee that shit. So, yeah, I, I'm glad that you manned up and called yourself out for being a little... Uh, what's this, what do you call that? Gamma. Oh, a like pussy. A, warrior, yeah. a gamma. Phony. Yeah. <laughs> he's just literally said... I'm yeah. not even joking. Too. Before he said that, Chocolate, he's just literally said, you are... My orchestra. That's what he just said. I'm not even joking. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. Yeah, he did. Well, if he you, you missed, I think you missed what Elsa said. Chocolate. Chocolate, you can be my second violin. Nathan's the first violin. Who, who wants, the, who wants other positions? I don't know what Neil can be. Maybe the bassoon. Well, well you, you he did say a few right? months ago he's taking over the show. I remember that one. So you orchestrated yourself that calling wasn't me. yourself no, a pussy. No, that wasn't me. That that's was someone else. <laughs> that, that's what you did? You orchestrated this whole thing in order for us to come to the conclusion that you're a pussy. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Nice. Cool. Well, well, thanks, man. Until he can answer the T question, I'll... he'll never rise to the level of Socrates. Oh, Socrates. Good one. Oh, that's too... You had all the time to think of that. Are you macho man? But maybe call him Fraser Crane. How about cool? Are you macho man? Well, that'd be no, a little bit of a that you, all, like you had all that time to think of that are you because macho he man, let you have all that time. Yeah. Am I, am I macho man or Andy Savage? Yeah. Uh, are you a, macho man? You're a guy that, that's, that's got a sky vacuum belief and is so stuck in cognitive dissonance that you'd prefer to spend an hour arguing about whether or not a cup of tea would get cold than get onto the discussion of entropy and the fake sky vacuum that you believe in as a fundamentalist religious sphere-believing zealot. What? You're a sphere-believing zealot, <laughs> and rather than discussing entropy increase, debunking the notion that the sky is a vacuum, an answer to one of the housekeeping questions you objected to us asking over and over again, in spite of there being an answer, which you denied when I pointed out there's a claim that the sky is a vacuum, you denied it and said, I don't think it's a vacuum. And then from there, we've spent about an hour with somebody trying to establish some simple logic with you about a cup of tea. That's how much you would rather not discuss entropy increase because it debunks the sky vacuum. You know, it's fun. And it's been fun, hasn't it? It has been fun. But dealing with fundies is quite fun. Maybe the clue is in the title. Fundies. No, no, that's fundamentalist. That's what that stands for. Yeah, I know. The kind yeah, of person that declares that when we're trying to figure out whether or not a cup of tea gets cold, you would declare it's us trying to figure out how how it works on a sphere, right? Automatically inserting your fundamentalist presuppositional belief that you're on a sphere, even though you said it was merely something you lean towards. How, he did say that. How are we back on this? We were talking. Oh, what, the subject of the show? How are we back? I was hoping they just dropped all these awkward questions that we can't answer and have... Answers that violate natural law. You would prefer we talk to you about how you're orchestrating this entire show because you are the unknown king. 
of this show, basically. We're like an orchestra being played by you, the conductor, aren't we? You're my first violin, remember? No, you are the kind of guy that gets glassed in a pub because people see you as a wanker. That's what you actually are. Here, you think you can behave like you actually are because there's no consequences, even though deep down you know that you'd get glassed for your behaviour because you deep down know you are a wanker. What, what would I get? Yeah, there's that laugh again. It's when someone has their actual shitty life pointed out to them that, yeah, in real life, you are just a wanker. That's what your real life presents to you. Me? I'm presented with happy, smiling people when I visit a pub. You have to worry about whether or not you'll get glassed if you be yourself. Does get glassed mean hit with a bottle? <laughs> yeah. Wait, you're presented okay. with the hap happy, smiling people. What? Yeah, you smile away. Well, we point out how pathetic you are and how by your own admission, if you were to behave like you actually are behaving, that is who you are, as much as you might want to distance itself with justification of internet usage, that is who you are. Now, you know deep down because you've told us that that type of person, who you are, irritates people around you. So therefore, presumably in real life, you have to subdue that like a pathetic twat. Yeah, me, I'm full of life when I'm out, just like I am here, and people tend to like that. They don't want to glass me or beat me up or break my nose. They don't tend to want to call me a wanker. But you instinctively know that that's what you are, don't you? You've got me there, Nathan. I know. I have met plenty of wankers. <laughs> you are one of them. <laughs> yeah, laugh it up. Yeah. 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 And I'm a, I'm a pretty yeah, nice guy. Again. So, it, it, you know, if I saw you getting glassed in, in, the, in the pub, you know, I'd probably try to help you out because I'm not a pussy. You know he saying? had trying to so, explain his fundy belief in a sky vacuum being wrong. <laughs> I probably wouldn't be hated by everyone around me. <laughs> so, so his plan backfired. He came to orchestrate the show and made a fool of himself. No, this is the stanza hey, where it's no, signed. That, that, it didn't backfire. That was probably the plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he orchestrated it. This all is the, si the awkward silence. He wanted to orchestrate, but he got played. Look, if a guy's too dumb to be able to answer if your tea gets cold, how do you think he's going to have the brain cells to be able to orchestrate something? I'm going to just point out that while you were talking, he was saying what had been orchestrated in his mind as the conductor, the awkward silence as he took his moment of victory. When in reality, what was happening, literally as he said that, was lots of people were talking. So even though he thinks, as the gamma cuck he is, that he's literally conducting this orchestra, and at that moment, there was a very contemplated silence by all of the people on the panel. And he told us that. He expressed it through the million miles of fibre that let the world know that he's orchestrating everything. What, what, what's a gamma? Stutter for me, you gamma little bitch. Yeah? Be put in your place by the people who are far superior to you, you pathetic wanker. Yes, stutter for me. Stutter? That's correct, like you just did. Yeah, you are now my bitch. Did I stutter? Yes, you did. Well, I apologise for that, Nathan. Good dog. There it is. What, after me telling you that you're a good dog, you being silent and obedient to my command? Yeah, that silence was you being a good dog. Now sit down like a good dog and know your place. Have we timed this discussion? I think it's been like an hour and a half. It's been great fun, but I'm going to have to go back to work now, Nathan. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to do. request my permission to piss well. off. I know that in this circumstance, typically some beta or gamma cook will actually express the reality of the situation, which is that I am in charge and you are now seeking my permission to leave. Yeah, you don't need that. But Thanks, obviously, guys. being the beta cook you are, you need to actually establish this with the hierarchy that's definitely in place and you're at the bottom of. Yeah, it's OK, my friend. I'll let you know now with a bit of leniency as the one in charge. You don't need my permission to leave. You can 
leave any time you choose to without seeking my permission. Yeah, see you later, Hannibal. I love it when a plan comes to <laughs> I make it seem like a lot of fun being a loser, though. So very convincing. <laughs> yeah, man. Just talk to everybody, though. I don't know. I've been, I've been on on the internet, right? My folks, when I was growing up as a kid, were like the first people to get internet. They ran a computer shop. They supplied networks to schools and businesses. They did mainframes. They did programming. I was exposed to the internet at a very 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 early age when it was in its infancy and learning very quickly with a rapid upward curve how people behave online right they get to express how they really are when they've got a little bit of anonymity between you and them now most people will just express how they actually want to be in this circumstance they might mask it with a bit of bullshit but ultimately speaking people are a lot more carefree when there's a million miles of fiber between you and the person you're speaking to and i learned this in an instant when the guy i was working with at the time introduced me to aol and he was like this is the internet i was like wow how crap <laughs> you can look stuff up and he was like no 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 watch in aol you can go to this thing called instant messenger and you can chat with all these random people i was like okay fair enough that's quite useful given that i was single at the time I'm like, okay, fine, I can meet women then. That's very useful. And he says, look, check it out. Here's a woman. He went in, opened up her profile, went in, opened up an instant messenger, and immediately started asking her what she was wearing. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, well, I can, can't I? I'm like, yeah, but you've just set this up with my real name intentionally. I was like, I, I, want, I want this to be representative of me. Don't ask her what she's wearing. He's like, yeah, but I want to know what colour bra is or whatever he answered. Sam, his name was. Anyway, from that day to this, I thought, I want my character, my personality, my persona online to be absolutely the same as what I am in real life. I don't want to go to places I wouldn't go. I don't want to go to some seedy pornography site because no one's looking. Now, by coincidence, like most men, I go to pornography sites, right? People do that. But I don't go to anything that's absolutely depraved because I'm not absolutely depraved. Now, the people who are doing things like that are doing it because they're depraved. The people who ask the woman who they've got a million miles of fibre between them and uh, the person they're speaking to about what they're wearing, that's their real personality. It just gets to blossom in a place of anonymity. So when we see these personas acting like the pricks they really are, and you call them on it. And say, no, that's what you really are, my friend. That's how you are. Yeah, you just hold a mirror up, basically, to what they are. And normally, they'll giggle like that guy did. And chuckle. Because basically, it's a feeling of shame when it's a mirror held up to your own disgusting nature. And all of us as human beings have got disgusting aspects to us, which when you've got a mirror held up to them, you're going to recoil. Or laugh. That fear laugh. That, oh my <laughs> God, what a monster. And that's you, right? Now me, I'm very happy with who I am. So I'm more than happy to tell people to suck my balls. Yeah, I'll do it in person. I assure you. If you're a dick to me in person, yeah, you'd get that, that language. Yeah, I'd shout at you too. I assure you of that. Because I'm not trying to mask some hidden personality. This is it. As dark as you see me online is as dark as I get. Now, most people are far darker than that. And they want to keep that shit well and truly hidden. It's the skeletons in the closet that people have to face when they come to things like Flat Earth. Yeah? The idea that this might be it, this might be all there is to the nature of our existence, well, that's pretty daunting, especially when the next step is, well, then we're created. You suddenly have a bit of introspection at that point. And that normally leads people to recoil because introspection or holding a mirror up to your actual own sadistic or horrible nature is normally pretty terrifying to most people. Most people's own reflection scares the living crap out of them, let alone going behind the mirror and looking into the closet full of skeletons that they want to deny. Well, the heliocentric model has the answer. A nihilistic out view where there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Just an endless super nothingness. It's all for nothing. What a great world out for you if you're a complete scumbag. 
and you don't want to have any introspection or look at the skeletons you've got in your closet, that's not me. So I can laugh about those people and call them beaters and gammers and pathetic individuals. And that's who we face here. We face broken people. That's our opponents. The broken individuals who come online as faceless, nameless trolls to hide the fact that they're actually pretty scummy people. Deep down inside, they know it. Yeah. You hide they can't your handle themselves the and they can't handle the world as a consequence. And about, the giggling, about the giggling part, how I see it is either it's like a bug and you, yeah, when they start to crawl, when you lift up the rock they were hiding under, or you could see there's a goblin that has a like a scarf in front of them and they're pretending to be something else. And when you lift it up, they're like, oh, oh, giggly, giggly. <laughs> That's what I always picture in my mind when that happens. Those guys we call degenerates. I am who I am. Well, they're LARPing their own yeah. life. I mean, their entire life is, me, is a role-playing act to them. Anybody that they can't handle forward. themselves. Yeah. I mean, you take me as I am or you leave me. It doesn't matter. There's no acting here. Imagine what you'd you, get in life if you had to act as a different person everywhere you go. Painful. Oh, I know exactly what that's like. Painful. It sucks. And you're nervous constantly and you get a lot of headaches too as a side effect because it's very strenuous constantly pretending you're something and trying to figure out if others actually believe it or not. It's really strenuous to do that. You've got to be compounded by a lot of fear in order to actually do, be able to do that. And eventually, I had that sort of. I was very socially nervous in my youth, but eventually figured out like, wait, if I just face it, face it, then maybe the world outside the other people will not seem as monolithic and they will turn out to be just like me. And I went for that. It was very difficult to really so mentally get out of that, but I did it. And now I am what I am. Yeah, it's called manning up. I guess so. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, it's called being a real dude. This guy's a phony. Like I say, a lot of broken yeah. people deal with us here. Yeah, like when yeah, you try to hide the perfect saying... roof. Uh, I detect an ad hom coming. Uh... Oh, you forgot about it. Psychological show today. Hold on, Arwin. Go ahead, whoever that is. Yeah, did you forget you got caught trying to hide perfect oh. cloak oh, proof? Oh, God. <laughs> Just from no, the I don't know that. Uh, Guys, calm talk. down. Hey, fill this in. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, that's funny. Oh, <laughs> really? I thought you searched for your own name on YouTube every day. You must know of this video. I search for adverts daily, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully that guy will make it. Right. One. Yeah, I do, yeah. So, tell me, what's this perfect glow proof? Excellent. Maybe you can present it back to us. Ace. Yeah. I'll link it in the chat. You no, know, tell us. Detail this proof. What is the proof? How does it work? Tell us all about it. No, I'll link it so your audience can see that you lie. Lied about what? You said we've got a perfect glow proof. This show is about exactly that. Can you tell us what this glow yeah, proof No, no, th those were your words. Yeah, can you tell us this. what it was? The words perfect glow proof. There you go. I've just said those words. Do they mean that there is actually in existence a perfect glow proof or not? You tell me that you were trying to hide it. Oh, no. Oh, right. It's I, my words, my arbitration of what they meant. Oh, definitely not. When speaking to Anthony Riley, I pointed out that was he to claim a Fresnel lens projected out to a specific point in the distance could be claimed to be like the Batman signal projected out at a given distance that's set at Wikipedia. You could claim it as a perfect globe proof based on how much that Batman signal was cut off. For the sake of argument, a detailed discussion that Anthony Riley and I had had at St. B's. Therefore, a shorthand summary 
of his reasoning behind not releasing a single pixel dot flashing from the beach at St. Bees, an impossibility on a globe, I might add, wasn't released. Now, given that it had been extensively discussed, and I suggested it shouldn't be released because it would merely be claimed as a globe proof, was discussed in shorthand during a show, and someone screen capped it, and to this day, despite the words perfect globe proof being used, no one's ever actually told me what the globe proof is. Now, I know what was being discussed, I've just detailed it. From our lens, Macold Lighthouse projected out at a given distance, just detailed on Wikipedia, adjusted by Anthony and then recorrected by someone else, I might add. Very, very detailed stuff. Shorthand in Skype, screenshot. The words perfect glow proof. Does that mean that you've actually got one though, Ed? A perfect glow proof? Or just this quote, like I've said five times in the last three minutes, that are meaningless unless there's actually a proof attached to it? Do you have that? What's your words? You tell me. Oh, uh, well, you can snip them out right now. Quote Nathan Oakley, perfect glow proof. End quote. So does that perfect glow proof quote mean anything, Ed? Or is it just meaningless words without context or a globe proof attached to them? Yeah, so the video is in the live stream. So does it have a globe proof, you complete clown? No, it doesn't. The video is in the live stream. So I heard the videos Discord. in the live chat. I've seen the video. And I'm asking you, is there a globe proof ah, attached okay. to it? Is there a globe proof attached to it? Or not? Well, why don't you play it on screen and let's see. Okay. Anybody want to present it? I've got no issue putting it up on screen. I just want to know if it's got a globe proof, though. No. Let's see what your audience thinks. I'm asking you, the one presenting it, it's your claim. You're citing me as a claim. Are you really this retarded? If this is actually a claim to be globe proof, it needs detailed explanation. Now, if you're saying Nathan Oakley's quoted to have said the words perfect globe proof, that doesn't prove a globe, you stupid clown. Now, keep telling me that it's in the live chat when I'm asking you whether or not this contextually actually proves a globe or not, and you're yet to answer. Is it because the answer's no? Why don't you play it on... Why don't you suck on my bollocks while I tell you that this isn't going to prove a globe now, is it? So you're so it's not it's proving not a globe then. Oh, no, you said you were. So it's not going to prove a globe then. Ago, you were maybe we should look at it so it screen. doesn't prove a globe. Look at it so it doesn't prove a globe. Maybe. So you changed your mind. You don't want to play it anymore. You want to play it for your fans or what? Just a bunch of chats, you Sorry, idiot. Sorry, play what? There's no proof uh, of anything. Is it a proof of a globe? You yet to tell us. Typically, when someone offers up a video, I ask them contextually to explain what it's going to prove first. So, does this video prove a globe? We already know, Ed. It's a low blow ad hom that proves nothing. That you guys like to throw at me, like me having been quoted as saying the words perfect globe proof, actually has any validity to prove a sphere Earth. And it doesn't. There's no context in this screenshot taken by Cat Earth. And I've asked you multitudes of times whether or not it has any globe proof. And you just keep asking us to play a video and not contextualizing whether or not it actually has any proof of a globe. It doesn't, Ed. We already know. Ed, you're not uh -huh. surprised. So, you Nathan, anybody. were you just bluffing when you were. when you told me you How were happy to play it on screen? Something you were just said on then? the internet, proof of the globe, Ed. It Arwen, doesn't make shut up. Any I'm sense. talking to Nathan. Quiet. Yeah, I'm talking it to Nathan. Doesn't make any sense. You're just ad homing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah nobody cares. Weak, I'm Ed. talking it's to very Nathan. Very weak. Okay. So if I put it on screen, you'll you'll explain the globe proof to us, will you? If you've played it, sure. Play what? It's a screenshot. No, it's not. It's a seven minute and twenty four second video. Sorry. It's a screenshot. So if I present the screenshot, you'll explain how the globe no, proof works. No, it's a video. You, you don't seem to no, want 24 I told, I told you video. It's a video. It's a video, Nathan. It's seven minutes and 24 seconds long. Oh, yeah, I told that? you it was a video. Yeah, it's a video of Cat Earth detailing a screenshot. Were you bluffing? Uh, can someone present this, please?
if someone's got a link to it. Is that yours, Arwin? You just... uh, yes, yes, I had it. Uh, Is that what you I just had posted? it shared for a couple of seconds, but it's just a bunch of chat text. I flicked uh, okay, through it. Okay, got it on screen. No, 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 it's okay. Ed, got it on screen. This screen cap is on screen. So you're playing the video then? It's a screen cap of something I've typed to Anthony. What, what do you mean, play the video? No, it's a video. I told it multiple times. It's a video. I'm flicking so through it video, right please. now, and it's, it's on just screen. a bunch of Yeah, I, nobody cares. Nobody cares, Arwin. Arwin, nobody cares. Sorry, I'm the one presenting on it on screen uh -huh. right Arwin, now. please, oh. please, Arwin. So, Ed, can you detail the globe proof to us? We've got the screen cap Cat Earth took. I'm not going to listen to an Endless Star Tribe uh, color commentary from Cat Earth about a screen cop screen cap he has taken it's on screen what does it prove so i said it's a video so i told you play the video are you uh, i told you to scared? suck my nuts Were why you didn't you? When you sorry you... i'm sure i told you to suck my nuts why aren't you on your knees giving me good eye contact right now you told me and i've told you it's a screen cap that i've got presented and i'm asking you if there's any actual globe proof in it and you don't seem to be telling us right yeah right there's no globe proof in this screen cap having quoted me as saying the words perfect globe proof doesn't actually contextualize any globe proof now if you're going to keep saying it's a video what you need to hear cat earth talking why it doesn't take anything further than the context of the screen cap that I've presented to my audience as asked. That's what you've said. You said perfect globe proof. No, I typed it out in a non-contextualized detailed chat between me and Anthony during a show that was screen capped by Cat Earth. It's now presented to the audience. How does this prove a sphere Earth? Well, he actually talks about it in the video, but you're- Oh, he talks about how this screen cap proves a sphere Earth, does he? <laughs> What a joke. You weren't such a coward. People would see it, but... Uh, why are you ad homing me and calling me a coward? I've put up the screen cap he talks about. You think I want to hear Cat Earth babbling on with his colour commentary about it? I just want to know how it proves the sphere. Now, if you can paraphrase what Cat Earth has taken as this to prove a sphere, I've watched the video. He doesn't in any way contextualise this as having detailed proof of a sphere. He just holds up the screenshot. So you're not going to play the video then? It's on screen playing right now. Arwin's been playing it. Well, where's the sound? I don't hear anything. I just hear yeah, you Yeah, I babbling. muted it because I'm not going to play the sound. And what does sound, the sound give Somebody us? saying something on a video is not proof of Earth being but a what's globe. What's he saying? Exactly. What's the Earth proof in there? There isn't any, Ed. He's not proving the Earth's sphere in this video. Or you'd have told us already. Trying to say they caught you. The joke. This has been presented to me a year ago. Ed, we're still waiting for this claim to be globe proof to be detailed by you. Right, so you're not playing the video with sound then? It is playing! No, not with sound, because it's a but screenshot, it's, it's visual. It? No, not as with sound. Oh, I see. You're you're hiding the sound now. I oh, okay. And if we play sound, will it detail how it proves the sphere, will it? Go ahead, see for yourself. No, you tell me. It's play your claim. Just tell me. Does it prove a sphere? No. So why bother playing it then? If it's not <laughs> proving a sphere, there's no fucking point, you dumb shit. So it's a complete waste of our time, other than you holding up a little gotcha where you've got a quote that I say perfect glow proof. And you take that as me being the arbiter of a spinning sphere earth in a vacuum when I debunk it daily. Well, you're a complete clown then. No. It's... Yeah, you are. You're a clown. This doesn't prove a sphere. Having out of context quotes with the words perfect and globe and proof with no contextualization and no actual proof of that assertion, which at face value is merely a baseless assertion by me being held up by you. Yeah, so you muted Discord again. Is that where you're going to go? No, Is that no, where you're going to go? Hear you mumble in the background, Ed. Don't worry about that. So nobody could hear the full answer. 
that's the whole point. You're instantly responding to a few words and the audience can't hear what I say because you're muting me again. That's what you do. And you're not willing to play the video. So you were bluffing before. Just play it with sound, Nathan. Go ahead. If you're such a man, that's what you pretend to be, right? Sorry, you said you were muted during your explanation. Maybe you could repeat it, please. Right. <laughs> just play the video, you coward. You just said you were muted during your explanation and you didn't get an opportunity because you were muted. You weren't. You just didn't give us one. You're a liar. Oh, yeah, pff, I actually was because I couldn't hear myself echoing. No, you weren't. I heard I every bullshit word that you said. So he's a liar. Right. Hold on. Sorry, someone no. in Discord has just clarified beyond all certitude that you didn't give a detailed explanation. That makes you a liar, Ed. Being called no. on your lie. Who is it that just called you, no. Ed on his lie? That was me. No, I didn't. Rams. It's just right. called you on your lie. You didn't give us a detailed explanation of how this proves no, the globe. It doesn't prove a globe, Ed. You're just a bluffing piece of shit and a liar, as uh, proven right now. You haven't given us any detailed no, explanation that you were muted through. Uh, and now you're muting me. No, actually, what a shock. Ed's now muting actually, me because he's being called on his lies. So it's time to fundy mute that, isn't it, Ed? Time to talk through me telling the audience how you've just lied about a detailed explanation that's yet to come. No, He's Ed, a you're a liar. Show, your, show us you're a man. Show us you're stuttering, bitch. This doesn't prove a sphere Earth. Taking some out-of-context quote from me and holding it up as a baseless assertion isn't proving a sphere, you idiot. Play the video with sound. Oh, Fundy it's mute me. Yeah, Fundy mute me, all right, Ed? You're sound. a coward, Ed. Just have to talk through me pointing out how your stupidity doesn't prove a sphere. How this quote out of context is at face value a baseless assertion. You need to Fundy mute every word of that, don't you, coward? <laughs> Total coward. Right, so are you, are you going to play the video Are you going to stutter sound? like a bitch? Are you, are you going to stutter for me, coward? Right. Yeah, right. Stutter for me, you fundy coward. This doesn't prove a sphere. You've got absolutely nothing. You're holding up an out-of-context quote from me as a baseless assertion fallacy and then fundy muting it whenever it gets pointed out. It's absolutely pathetic. You're a loser scumbag. Right. Yeah, right. Are you going to play this video with sound? Are you going to tell us how it proves the sphere Earth? You've just claimed it was detailed, but you were muted while you were telling us. No, you're a liar. No. Yeah, you're a liar. You were called on it by Rams. You didn't give us a detailed explanation. If you did, you'd be going through it right now. Yeah, I told you several times. It's in the video. If you play it with sound, go ahead. If you're man enough, that is. No, we're going to sit here in silence with you not telling us. That's what we're going to do. We'll sit here. You, you seem to run uh, Oh, it seems like when I respond, I leave a nice gap. He's got to fundy mute me. What a coward. No, we're going to wait for you to tell us how it proves the sphere. And I have no issue whatsoever sitting here in total silence while you don't do that. And at the end, I'll summarize the fact that there is no sphere proof in here. Right, so play the video with sound then, you coward. Go that there ahead. is no globe Arwen. proof in it. So why is this even Arwen. a point then? What's going on? Arwen, just let him stew in it. We're waiting, it On you. Yeah, I'm not, I, I'm not hearing the video. Oh, you're stuttering again, my bitch friend. I, my, I'm stuttering away like a bitch coward that knows there's no globe proof in this. Uh, so are you going to play the video with sound then or not? And what's that going to prove? You're, you're, what's it going to prove? You're running away from the video really hard, aren't no, you? No, we were Nathan? trying to you tie so down you to what it proves. No, but you're so scared of it. Why are you ad homing me? How do you know that I'm not going to play it at the end of this little nonsense bullshit diatribe where you don't actually lay out how it proves just anything? Bluffing. You just fundy mute me the entire time. No, you're just bluffing. Bluffing. That's it. You were happy to play the video 15 yeah, minutes ago. I am. Once I know what it running, proves. But now you're running away. No, not at all, but Ed. you're scared. You're no, I'm sat here, Ed. I'm not running anywhere, you pathetic weasel. I'm sat here. I can easily play the video. I just like the fundy who's told me to play it to tell us what it proves without fundy muting me asking him for the 10th time and him telling us that I just need to play it. It's down. Come on. 
You yeah, finally man. meeting me, Ed. That's all that's happening. I'm asking you again and again and again what it proves, knowing full well it proves nothing, and you're calling me a coward for not playing it. That's all that's happening. No, you're just being a little baby. You're afraid of that video. Oh, so it'll prove a sphere, will it? Actually. Okay, Arwin, can you post the link to me? I'll play it with sound. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll post it in... Uh, if in it Bob doesn't Lakers? prove a sphere, Ed... We'll know exactly why you've obfuscated the question about 17 times, won't we? Yeah, then what? Then we'll point out then that it what, didn't man? prove a sphere exactly as I claimed and that you're just like the other guy. What's the word? A wanker who spends a lot of time wasting people's time with stuff that doesn't prove his claim. So in this instance, you've said it proves a sphere. I know full well it's merely an ad hom on me with a baseless assertion with an out of context quote. I've said that about seven times. Now, you seem to be asserting that it does prove a sphere, and if we play the video, it will prove that it does prove a sphere in the video. That's your claim, right? So therefore, I'll play the video, and if you're not a lying scumbag piece of shit, it will actually prove a sphere based on the context of what the video says. Right, Ed? Yes, play the video. Stop no, no, you're not answering me, Ed. You're saying that it will prove a sphere if we play it, right, Ed? That's my question. Go ahead. I'm not hearing the sound yet. I, what? I'm not seeing you on your knees suckling on my testicles yet. No, Ed, we're trying to establish with you if it proves a sphere. You've already said if you play the video, it'll prove that. You've already said that it will prove it by context if played. Now you seem to be reluctant to commit the position that you're vaguely committed to already. It just proves you're a weasel scumbag. Now we already know it won't prove a damn thing. What is Ed claiming that it no, proves? Not That's what I'm trying to establish, Rams. Now, because we already know it proves nothing, Ed thinks he's getting a win because if he holds me to not playing it, that means that there's something potentially proving a sphere that hasn't been demonstrated and he can call me a coward for. So he'll take that as a win. I'm just waiting for Arwin to post the link in the live chat and I'll play it. Oh, I posted it. In well, he should be meeting. held to whatever he thinks the claim is before we hear it. Yeah, Rams, exactly. Rams, you, you know what the best part is? He has no idea how it proves a globe, even if he did. Yeah. Yeah, go hey make guys, another ref video, Canada please. Here. Nobody just cares. Making a quick video. So, yeah, um, I know. If you've actually asked me to make this video, um, it's just a few screenshots I have of a conversation between Nathan Oakley and Anthony Riley that they were having while they were on the Flat Earth Debate Show, Nathan's Flat Earth Any Debate Any particular timestamp you'd so like I used to, to go, to on, go uh, to, Nathan Ed? Show, um, a few months ago, I used to go on a few, you know. No, I just the whole thing. A month going on regularly. It's good fun. Um, really enjoyed it. Really used to enjoy it. Um, but then this the, the whole thing is not really relevant because he's detailing his enjoyment of the really show so far, Ed. That's nothing there. to do with Sphere Earth Proof. Uh, <laughs> so when you say the whole uh, thing, you don't mean this bit, do you? very belligerent and rude to everyone. And now he's giving like, his colour commentary on me personally, Ed. This isn't proving a Sphere, Ed. He's talking about his colour commentary on the show, Ed. Am I being a coward? No, you've just told me the whole video is relevant to whether or not it proves a Sphere. And he's babbling on about how he feels I behave, Ed. So when you said the whole video, immediately you've been proven a liar, Ed. Because so far he's given his colour commentary. Play the video. You it is play playing. Video, I asked you if you had a timestamp with the relevant sphere proof, and your answer to me was all of it, Ed. Now, so far... Having had some of it, which would include what you said, that would be all of it. He hasn't given any sphere proof, merely his colour commentary on me, Ed. So you're already a liar, because all of it, no, Ed, no. All of it doesn't contain sphere proof, my friend. You are just a scumbag, fundy, lying piece of shit. Stop fundy muting the video. You're funny muting the video stuff. Sorry, the, you said that so, all um, of the video really would silly, contain the sphere proof um, I asked later for. Later on, Riley started talking to uh, to Nathan. And he was screen sharing. Now, you, you, the audience couldn't see it because Nathan usually has his, um, you know, the picture of the sunset that proves, you know, globe Earth. <laughs> this proves flat Earth. Oh, was was that it, Ed? He said the sunset proves flat earth or globe earth is that what you were referring to <laughs> just let the video play coward. i have he's Stop just given a claimed globe proof were you deaf so 
I've played the video and we're at the stage that he's made a claim that he says proves the sphere Earth, Ed. Now, according to you, this was cast iron glow proof that just needed playing. Now we've got to the bit that he's made an actual claim. He says sunsets prove globe. Yeah, so I played a whole few I just later. played the bit he made a claim in, Ed. Now we're discussing it. We played his colour commentary about me, not relevant to Sphere Proof. Now we've got the bit where Cat Earth, the complete idiot, has made a claim that you're going to have to now back. So you're not playing the whole... Sensing the taste of my nuts by any chance? I've played it. He's made a claim. Now we're clarifying that claim with you, my friend. And like sunsets, this, Ed. Video, sunsets, so Ed. Sunsets. Are you a coward? Go on. I thought this proved it. We've played it. Oh, Are you a coward? Are you running away from this sunsets claim? Played a video. We've played, played it. He video. said sunsets. We've video. played it. We've played, played it, Ed. He said video. sunsets. Ed, it's you coward. You're fundy muting me, Ed. You're fundy video. muting me, Ed, Come you coward. coward. You seem to be talking through me continually, Ed, you fundy coward. Stop it raging. seems he's made a claim and we've yeah. detailed it and played it, you coward. You and all you're doing is fundy muting me. What a coward. You scumbag coward loser. Scumbag coward loser, he's made a claim that you now can't back. Well, listen, and all you're doing is fundy muting me. Not allowing it to come through once, Ed, so you don't have to listen. Yeah, fundy muting me, Ed. Reason. Fundy come muting on. me, right, Ed, you Jerry coward Bain scumbag. Afterwards. You're a coward scumbag. You're fundy muting me, Ed. Are you can allow me to speak. I'll listen to your pain later. Uh, will you listen to me pointing out that he's Go made ahead. a claim that you're not backing, or you're going to talk through me continually? Right, so we did as you asked. So you're not going like to listen. So you're not going to listen, you coward. You're going to listen or not? Video, Are you going to listen to me or not? I'll, I'll, you stutter I'll for listen. me, you fucking bitch. Yeah, you are stuttering because you're now tasting my nuts. That's right, Ed. He's made a claim in the video you made us play. Now we've stopped at the claim he's made. Not going to just whistle past it and accept it. You're going to have to back it now. Sunsets, my friend. So you can share your pain later? No, we've shared the video you asked us to play and he said sunsets. An obvious proof of the globe. That's what he said. I said play the whole video. Uh, we've played the bit that has got a claim to be sphere proof. I asked you which part, timestamp please. You didn't give it me. You said all of it. Now all of it contained lots of ad homs and basically personal attacks against me. Then we got to a bit that was claimed to be a sphere proof, Ed. Now we've stopped to ask you about this bit, which is the only so far, not all of it, the only bit that's claiming to prove a sphere. Sunsets, Ed. Do you really think sunsets prove a sphere, Earth? If so, Ed, we'll hand you your ass on a plate right now if you can prepare to listen to this. Or you can fundy mute me and tell me to play the rest of the video when we've already had a claim. Well, yeah, we have or you can fundy mute me, video. right, coward? Yeah, we've had the claim of sphere proof from your mate in his video. We've had it, Ed. We've heard it. Now you've just got to back that shit, haven't you, coward? Okay. So play the whole video. Uh, so we played the bit that's claimed to have a sphere proof in it. Obvious proof of a sphere, he said, Ed. Why are you so... F Why are you now shying away from this, Ed? I played the video. He didn't detail sphere proof. Uh, sphere... Uh, he didn't detail sphere proof, instead attacked me personally. And when we got to a sphere proof, claimed to be by him, the narrator, apparently of utmost importance to be listened to, while he ad homs the shit out of me, when we get to the sphere proof, suddenly you don't want to discuss it, Edge, you coward. I said play the whole thing. Yeah, I know what you told me. And I told you to give me good eye contact on your knees. And you haven't done that. But we've definitely got to the point in the video where he claims he's got a sphere proof, Ed. The point of the video. How can I make eye contact if you're hiding your face like a little coward? Just play the... Uh, it's, it's just an ad hom. I'm going to kick him out. We've got to the point where he's made a claim that's supposed to be proving a sphere, Ed. Now, either you man up and actually address it. We've got to the point in the narration where sphere proof is being claimed. Not just being claimed, being claimed to be obvious, Ed. Do you agree? Or are you a coward? You can share your pain later. Yeah, I'm going to kick you out. You're a coward.
Do you agree with the claim made in the video you insisted we played? Or are you a coward who's not prepared to defend the claim that Cat Earth's just made? That's supposed to be an obvious fear proof, Ed. I will answer all your questions. I'm, after you I'm asking you one now. Is it something you're prepared to defend, given that you've told us to play it and we've got to the point where there's a claim to be obvious fear proof? After the video plays, I'll answer it. Oh, I see. So after all the baseless assertions have been made, after the scattergun of a four-minute video with a load of ad homs against me, you'll ignore the actual claim. Is it obvious that Sunset's prove a sphere, Ed? Because that's what's just been claimed by the video I'm, you insisted we no, play. No, Nathan, I'm not going to ignore it. No, you're not going to answer me is what you're going to do, because that's what you're doing. No, uh, yes... I you'll just stutter for me, won't you, bitch? I know what you'll do, because I'm teabagging you, my friend. Go on, stutter I for me, good you, dog. I, I, answer every I, I, I will answer, yeah, you will, you stuttering bitch. While I teabag this nonsense video, where your bum chum claims to have sphere proof in the form of a sunset that you now don't want to seem to argue about. I'll argue with you after the video. The well, relevant part is 217 to 330. We've already got to acclaimed obvious sphere proof in the video. Why is it that this isn't willing to be discussed? Are you guys scared of this? Words by Cat Earth. No, Are you I scared? You I'm willing to discuss it. Well, let's discuss it. Video. Well, let's You're discuss not it listening. then. Okay, let's discuss it then. Or are you a coward that just needs to listen to a, another claim and another claim that's no, not I backed up? No. Oh, well, we've had a claim. No. We've had a claim. We've got there. I asked you over and over if the yep. video had a claim sphere proof in it, and we're there. We've got there, Ed. You told us to listen to all of it, and we've got to the part where we've got a sphere claim. We'll cover that first, or we'll declare you a coward who doesn't want to defend this because you're scared of Cat Earth's claim that sunsets prove a sphere Earth because you know that they don't. Therefore, you're not willing to discuss it. Just more video, more baseless claims that don't get addressed. Right, Ed? More baseless claims, not prepared to defend this, right? I'm willing to discuss Let's everything do it. after the video. Oh, so you do need more baseless assertions spewed out there. Not willing to address them as they come up. Not willing to defend this claim to be obvious proof of a sphere. You're not willing to defend that, you coward. Just need lots of baseless assertions out there. Hopefully one will stick without getting addressed, you coward. He's made a claim. You told us to listen to it. We've listened to it. We're addressing it. Obviously sunsets don't prove a sphere. Or Ed would be all too keen to tell us how. But no, he wants to listen to other shit that apparently is relevant when most of the video, 90% so far, has been about me personally. And when we get to an actual claim to be sphere proof, he doesn't want to talk about it. He wants to listen to more video. Apparently, it's obvious. I'd have thought if Cat Earth was right and it was an obvious sphere proof, you'd be all too willing to tell us how obvious it was. But no, you want to listen to more baseless assertions without defending this one, right, Ed? You coward. Maybe stutter for me again a few more times. I told you, listen to the whole video. So oh, you're a coward. To discuss discuss everything after you've done that. We've, uh, we've heard a claim. So you're, you're not you're willing to defend this me? claim? You're, you're funny muting me. You're, you're, no, you're Nathan, not Nathan, willing you're funny to funny defend this claim? Me. Nathan, stop funny muting me. Nathan, stop funny muting me. Are you done? Thank you. I told you, listen to the whole video, and I'm willing to discuss everything after you've done that. Everything. Just ask me any question after the video. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Yeah. Yeah, he'll funny mute you whenever the fuck he wants. Is there anything else on, like, the rest of it? Besides... The, the type of nonsense we can or, or just tell us that sunsets are irrelevant. How will you know if you're not playing it? To prove the you know if you're not playing it? Well, we've played it, Ed, and we've got to a claim that's being made in the video. Now we'd like to discuss it. Unless, of course, you're a coward and you can't possibly defend this. No, I told you, listen to the whole video. No, I'm well, we've to listened to enough. Now I'm gonna you've done that. Fuck off out my show. You're a you're weasel. A you're a fucking weasel. Total weasel. Got to a point that the claims to be made. Apparently, the whole video is relevant, all of it. It wasn't. That was a total lie. Just lots of attacks against me. He'd like to chuckle about while I play on my own show, right? That'd be fun. And holding me to task about actually defending the claim to be globe proof that's in there won't actually happen. When we get to the claim to be globe proof, he's not willing to discuss it. He needs to move on. What weasel? He knows damn well he's got no claim to be sphere proof in here. Sunsets? 
What joke? Clayton, I heard this a year ago. They tried to tell me, look, he's lying. He's just doing it for money. And I had this played for me and I left my ass off. That's as close to a win as Ed will ever get. Maybe the other guy wants to defend the Sunset's claim? Yeah, I did hear a white knight there. Was there a white knight that wanted to defend the claim that Sunset's proved a sphere Earth? Feel free. But, but, does, but does it understand tea gets cold? <laughs> 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 did someone misread the discord server is there a white knight actually willing to defend this claim made by cat earth that there's an obvious proof in the form of a sunset for a sphere earth yeah somebody did jump in real quick no idea who but mm, i said yeah. something but i wasn't like on his side I think Eric, oh, right, right, Eric cool. was pointing out he was being scummy. <laughs> no, I was just saying the part that he wanted to play was um, 217 to 330. Oh, really? Why? What's in that bit? Uh, Something about a lighthouse. I, I'm not quite sure what the claim was, but it was nonsense. Neither was Ed. Uh, why won't it let me go back? This is mad. They're just looking for Nathan's words. They're just looking for the words that he said perfect. Uh, what, what was it? Perfect proof? Something like that? Right, just one second. What was the timestamp again, please? This is the Morgold Lighthouse. Uh, 2.17 to 3.30. Is this what this has all been about? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. For God's sakes. It's very interesting. So it's a stop. Don't talk about the lighthouse. Don't talk about the effing light from the lighthouse one. It's a trap. I understand the trap now. Big trap one. Riley says, go on. The lighthouse projection is 21 miles from the lighthouse, so it's 10 miles. I can't do it. It's 10 miles away. Not 31. So it proves the bulge. The light is focused at 21 miles out to sea. So he says it proves the bulge. Ah, I see. And here's a killer. Here's a killer comment. So it's the question of: Does the light come to the eye, or does the eye see the light? I'll let you think about that one. Does the light come to the eye, or does the light does the eye see the light? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> like but that's not that, that's not the one. Here we go. No, the light it produces is ten miles from you at a height of two hundred twenty feet. Perfect globe proof they are nathan oakley's own words at 1104 at whatever the date was doesn't matter who cares i'll figure out if anyone cares probably no one cares but look perfect globe proof there you go there you go nathan oakley himself so that there you have it you have nathan oakley in the back chat talking to Riley, explaining his weird behaviors and his outbursts because he's trying to stop a, a point being made i'm going to be honest i don't know what his point is like this is i don't know what he's talking about to be fair <laughs> so ed wow. where's ed hopefully i knew it i knew it after you finished playing the video oh. he would leave i knew it <laughs> so the, the perfect globe proof is nathan's misunderstanding of how a lighthouse works behaviors and his outbursts because he's trying to stop a, a point being made i'm going to be honest i don't know what his point is like this is i don't know what he's talking about to be fair <laughs> so that, it was was that his perfect glow proof he doesn't even understand it himself to explain it back to us as a perfect glow proof interesting not sure i was Oops. muted and deafened so i didn't hear the whole thing Oh, he, he details how he doesn't understand how it proves the globe. Oh, okay. Can you play it again? You deafened me, so I didn't hear anything. Oh, sure, yeah. Oh. Behaviors and his outbursts because he's trying to stop a, a point being made. Yeah, if you didn't I'm be honest, run away. What, oh, you seem to be fundy is, muting like, Cat like, Earth there, my about. friend. <laughs> I thought you wanted to hear that's it. Not, whether he's right or wrong, whether it's a globe proof or it proves the bulb or he's right or wrong about this is, is irrelevant. He thinks he's right. 
and he's hiding it. He so Cat Earth says, I think I'm right and it's a perfect globe proof. That's Cat's opinion. Is that it? Was there anything more than Cat no, Earth declaring? Those were your words. My bad, mate, fundy mute me, I would. So is there any more than Cat Earth's declaration that he doesn't understand how this proves the globe? Did, did you want to explain it, given that Cat Earth can't? Right. Did you actually play the whole thing? or? Yeah. So given that it's been yeah, played again, to the audience, so you already you know, know you've watched it as you fundy meet the shit out of me. Yeah, you've already watched it, obviously. It's your reference. The audience has heard it, him detailing it. And we also heard at the end of him detailing it how he doesn't understand how it proves the globe. Now, that was my original question to you, Ed. And you said that if we'd play the video, you'd explain any questions we had about how it proved the globe. Now, we've got two. One is Kat's explanation about this screenshot is that he doesn't understand how it proves the globe, Ed. Now, I'd like you to explain how it does, please. Original question. Yeah, but you didn't play the whole video. Yeah, we did. Several yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. The audience so will hear it. The, the, the audience video. will hear it, Ed. Right? So you're now going to just deny that it has because you were on mute? No, it's been played. I'm not a liar. And you've heard it. You've already got it and you've referenced it. It's your video that you're claiming. So we've all heard it. Everyone's heard it, Ed. At this point, you're not going to answer any questions. You're a liar, as proven and demonstrated already, I might I add. Heard, I heard it twice. We've heard it. Andy's got people helping him helping him with messages. Of course he has. Ed, it's been heard. And it's also been heard that Cat doesn't understand how this proves the globe. That was my original question to you, having watched this myself beforehand also. Shocker. I knew he didn't know how it's claimed to be proving a sphere Earth. And I'm asking you to do it and you don't seem to be answering me. Maybe a new question or obfuscation tactic, maybe. You said you would. Let's see if you're well, a liar. You don't seem to be playing the whole. You go ask, though, go ask one of your one of your uh, references. You don't seem to be playing it, Ed. Yeah, we have. So you're just going to claim we haven't when we have. So you're useless and a liar. Ed, did you watch play it? Play it. Seven Ed, he did play it, man. Come on. Ed, did you watch this? No, he's he's a lying scumbag, right? At the point that he's basically going to say, nah. You haven't played it. It's just going to go round and round in circles. We play it again. He's like, nah, well, someone talk through that bit. It'll go on indefinitely because he's got nothing to attach to it other than this endless bullshit diatribe about absolutely nothing. And if anything at any stage is asked to have clarity given to it, he'll just say no. Like he's done already. But didn't, hasn't he, a few times, after what I've been listening, he said, play the thing then I'll to answer every question. Now we've played it. Why yeah. is he answering one question? No. Not even one question. Because yeah, he's a liar. Yeah. That, that just was, like Cat Earth, he, even he doesn't understand what he just heard. Just like Cat Earth. We don't. But just right, Ed. But on, but right, Ed, Ed? Even understand. That's why you. That's why you can't speak. That's why you can't say anything except oh, play the video when we when he's played it twice, basically. Right. Cat Earth is texting him not to. <laughs> What? That's the one thing I don't <laughs> know, man. Hold on, what was that? Why is that? Advertise for ballers at this point. He's oh, just trying to throw advertise for them. Hold he on, doesn't Arwin. want to give any arguments. God, Arwin, please. Sorry, do you want to repeat that again in Discord? Me? I, I just said he's got Cat Earth texting him, to t telling him what to say and not to say, what to do, what not to do. Well, he ain't doing a good job. Well, we still haven't got Ed to try and tell us what's happening with the sun underneath the clouds. Remember? Let me get it straight. Ed's taking orders from Cat Earth. Really? Yeah. That's what I think. Ed. It seems would say it's more you're being called out as being taking, having taken instructions from Cat Earth. Yeah, that's hilarious. I don't even know who that guy is. He's in the video you've shared with us. What the fuck are you talking about? It's the name of the channel you've just shared with us, you stupid shit. <laughs> yeah, but you think I know who the per- Yeah, it's on the video. He's the one fucking talking, you stupid shit. 
<laughs> right, but you think I... Yeah, that's right, you stupid shit! Right... Yeah, right! <laughs> what what the hell are you yeah, this, is, this is horrible, man. Something you said, <laughs> something so you said, you're the one that said that you're getting... I said what? Yeah, I said I was getting messages, not from him. Yeah, he you doing getting that, messages, he... all right. I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are getting plenty no, of messages. No, there were people who told weasel. me he didn't play You're the whole thing. You're a piece of shit, you and you have no business in here. You're, you're you so shut the dumb. Fuck. You're so dumb. You're so caught up in cons conspiracies. You think everything is a conspiracy. No, Ed, shut you're up, so dumb. Get get out. Out. Conspiracy. Right That's what he wants to do. He wants to come here and tell us we're all dumb. That's his main objective here. To tell us we're all dumb and have a video played where someone else is saying we're all dumb. So he can feel a little bit good about his shit life and his pathetic nature for just a few moments. That's what. Make yeah, them no. feel dumb by telling them they're dumb so I can snigger about it and feel good about myself. Right, Ed? Yeah, piss off. Get out. Yeah, you're, that's dead on, Nathan. It is irrelevant. Hold on, he's been missing for a while. So he's been searching this out. For for quite a while. It's a only to fuck it up like this. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hang on, hang on. He Let doesn't me get even understand the evidence he's trying to prove. Let me get in something here. So he played. You played that part where Cat Earth infers that he doesn't know what context you're saying it in. No, of course he wouldn't. He's not going to be privy to a conversation between Anthony Riley and myself about how I assume my opponent, that's a globe head, will claim you've got the Batman signal coming. And that's the point that they claim the distance of the projected lens, i.e. how far you can see that light from, in Wiki. They'll say, yeah, it's projecting out like a Batman signal and claim it's perfect globe proof. Because that's what I've told Anthony when he was discussing with me and his girlfriend at the time and my wife the video that he just produced of one pixel flashing of Macord Lighthouse from the car park in the middle of the night. Well, I said, no, they'll just claim it's a glow proof. That's it. So I've put that in shorthand to him during a discussion. Cat Earth clipped it and gone, I don't really get the context, but I do see the words perfect glow proof in there. Therefore, he's lying to you. <laughs> no, I'm in discussion. And like any good debater, I know their arguments. And I'm foreshadowing or foreseeing what they might come back with. And then I'm expressing what I think my opponent will come back with to Anthony. So is he going to have all that context from one little shitty screenshot? No, of course not. But they think they got a little gotcha. It's pathetic. Knowing their arguments and being able to argue from the globe perspective with Anthony is why I do well at debate in Flat Earth. Because obviously... Plenty of people on the panel do this all the time. They put on the globe head cap and argue as a glober. Normally to frustrate me, I might add. But obviously that's what a competent debater can do. Take the position of the opponent and argue it competently. So what? Does that mean that I actually take that position? You've only got to ask. Do I think the Earth's a sphere and there's perfect globe proof for it? No. Earth is obviously and observably flat. This particular claim with a Batman-shaped signal is absurd. Me postulating that that's what they come back with is equally absurd. Just in case, Adam, you thought it was me with that misapprehension, it's not. Well, no, I was. I'm honoured to add to that. It was absurd, but we didn't know at the time, which is why what we did, and I went off, didn't I, and I spoke to the, the bloke that installed the lens at the Morgan Lighthouse so, because he was bragging about he'd only just done it, and asked him about that whole concept and that false concept that we, as you say there, if that concept, they take hold of that, they'll try and claim it's this, which would put it at a globey distance. So that was the whole concept. And we went, we investigated it, and we found out it was bunkum anyway. Um, but what you don't do when you're debating stuff is stick out there concepts that support other people's arguments, even especially when you don't know whether they're bloody true or not. But if it was true, we'd have dealt with it in truth. But we didn't know at that point that that nonsense wasn't nonsense or was nonsense. So, and that's what you were saying, because I remember discussing, that's why I went and spoke to the lighthouse. That's the point I was making. We researched properly, and that's why I was aghast that that's 
what nonsense. Uh, yeah, correct. Um, and at the and time, we've, 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 progressed, we've progressed in debate since then. So at the time, we were begging the question with the globe as we debated about the calculator and how mm. much a physical sphere edge would get in the way. So even us on the flat Earth side had fallen into this trap, which they've laid out in careful, calculated fashion, to reify the horizon into a physical sphere edge. Well, in that, if you want to contextualise what was in that screen cap, I'm actually detailing a physical geometric sphere edge. The bulge! Well, do you think I'd do that these days? No, but I did back in the day. Feel free to go back to the old debates where I fell into the trap of reifying the horizon into a physical edge. Something we've now debunked in 2020. Well, obviously in 2019, 2018, was I still guilty of reifying a sphere edge into a horizon? Probably. So what? Things have progressed. So yes, they have. I'd just give Ed one, one little bit of advice, and um, certainly don't go for a drink, Ed, in the same town as where Vacuum lives. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get tea. <laughs> You'll both get glass. You'll get glass. <laughs> yeah, especially not tea. <laughs> oh, God. You'll get tea bones. What, what's really going on there, uh, Nathan, is... It's not about the lighthouse. It was never about that. And it's not even about your comment. It's that these people, Ed and Cat Out, right? And the guy vacuum was on earlier, but mostly Cat Out and Ed, they actually do believe that you're only in this for money. And that you correct. really do know that it is a globe. And that but they are correct that it is a globe. And this whole flat earth thing is only a uh, soy up or whatever they want to call it to fool people. And you're just, uh, you're just uh, fr franchising on this and making money and laughing at but, all the flat earthers uh, uh, when okay. you know that it's a globe when you finish that, your that show. But it, but no, but it would, no. This is an old vid, isn't it? That, that was the bullshit along a lot of the insult Nathan's taken. That, that was thrown... Years ago, that one. Yeah, he definitely knows it's, it's again, it, it's their projection, isn't it? That one again. We all know it. Red's red to it. They all know it's flat, don't they? But yes. what we've got to do is call Nathan and reverse it. It's. But, but I mean, do you really think Nathan's going to do Flat Earth Show if he knows he can make a lot more money doing something else? Well, yeah. It'd be better off going against Flat Earth. Exactly. 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 I, mean, I, just wanna... I mean, you can do a Simon Dan rubbish opinion. Just video. clarify you that. Triple, triple right. as much as him. You're right. It would be more profitable to yeah, be but he would lose his mind in the Oh, God, please, can I just actually answer? Yes, it would be more profitable to be anti-Flat Earth. However, I am here to earn a living. You know, a YouTuber is what I call myself, and I'm a YouTuber to earn a crust to feed my family. So if you want to say, well, he's only here to earn money, well, isn't that why anybody does anything if it's considered work? But does that mean I'm not passionate about the subject? Does it mean, ultimately, which is the point, that I'm actually lying for those pittance of funds that i receive for doing this no if that was the only reason as it's being phrased i'd be an anti-flat earther because people like to support the rhetoric that people have been indoctrinated into believing in there's huge amounts of effort put into keeping that programming up constantly and the people who are anti-us adhere to that and get promoted for it we get shadow banned and hidden you know my audience is 80 percent subscribed and that tells me one thing and one thing alone. I don't reach anybody that's not already aware of me. Well, when I see somebody that I've constantly told YouTube, Simon Dan, not interested, I wave my finger over it and say, we're well, not interested. I'm not going to watch it. Like with all the other fundies that I'm not interested in watching. Does it still keep putting him on my homepage? Of course it does. Because they're going to promote Simon Dan to the nth degree, even to people who don't want to watch him. Right? Do you think I get that? Do you think if someone waved their finger over one of my bids and said, not interested, not that they'd get to see it in the first place to do it, do you think it would reissue it to that person over and over again? No. Of course not. They've made it overtly clear. They've been told by government, what are you going to do about this flat earth problem? And they've said, well, we'll shadow ban them. We'll keep them in this subcategory of, what do they call us? Fringe or something? Not quite bad enough to be banned, but definitely bad enough to not show anybody or promote in any way. Well, do you think that's something I'd do for profit? No, I just couldn't live with myself to be anti-flat earth and lie. I couldn't do that. But would it be more profitable? Yeah. Nathan, can I uh, borrow a million dollars? You borrow four million dollars? Yeah, you're flat earth millionaire, right? 
you're raking it in. Let me some money too. No, no he's in all, all seriousness. It, into his kids. it would you know be. This. It would be wonderful if you smash the super chat if you're watching this right now. <laughs> yep. That's in it for the money, you say? How dare they? For shame. But they for have shame. no shame. It's an outrage. I've also got a PayPal link. How dare they assume it's just super chats? Yeah. <laughs> and Nathan Oakley 9080 channel. Come on, people. Like, seriously, this guy, every weekday show for years and years and years, nonstop. And I can only return even when, favor. Even when he has a cold, you know, he still goes. <laughs> so that's admirable. Even, even, and Nathan, even with your Vaseline camera, according to Fight the Flat Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Vaseline camera, what? I can only and imagine it's going to be something rude. Continue. Don't tell me, don't tell me. I'm not interested. That's, I'm sure it's as, as filthy as I am, argument. actually. <laughs> right, let's give both of you a plug. Hold you. on, guys. I'll give both of you a plug. Right, so subscribe today to Flatzoid, who's just got over 500 subs. It'd be great to get to you 1,000. That'd be marvellous. So go and subscribe to Flatzoid. If I'm watching this, I'll spam his link. Uh, and also subscribe to Arwin, who also does a daily show. And even if he's got a cold... He'll still be doing it also. So just as big an equal shout out to Arwin. I think that's probably where I'll round out this show though. So with that, I will say first and foremost, a huge, massive, enormous thank you to all of you tuned in on either Nathan Oakley 1980 or Nathan Oakley Premiering Streams for hopefully smashing the super chat, liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing and all that good stuff. Be sure to check out NathanOakley.com and the Flat Earth Debate Forum to keep up to date with the community debate. Of course, a massive thank you to today's Discord and G Plus panels for making today's after show possible. I've been Nathan Oakley and I'll see you all in the next video. We'll